<laughs> what up? Gentlemen, how the fuck are you? You look fan-fucking-tastic, dude. What's happening, man? Dude, just got back from the desert. I'm feeling that fucking desert rad vibe. Hell yeah, That's what dude. I'm talking about. Getting that dry air in your lungs, clean, every, clean all that COVID out. Fuck yeah, dude. Get some dirt in your ears. Oh, dude, it's the best. Oh, you got like a couple. Our, uh, you got a couple of bucks back there. Yeah, you like our setup, dude. We yeah, got some, some deers with some hats, dude. How many point? How many points are those bad boys, dude? It's got to be a hundred points up there, huh? Nah, dude. That's we got an eight <laughs> point and a six point. We got a <laughs> we got a thick one over here that you can't see. I would take the mount off the wall, but we're recording at Pepper's in laws right now, and uh, I've never been here, and it's fucking terrifying. Yeah. Oh, there's really? actually, yeah. There's a dinosaur across from us on the dresser. That is true. Wait, like a toy dinosaur yes. or like no, a, like a real one? No, like a mandible. Thomas like a mandible see from a fucking dinosaur. A mandible claw. All right, today on the Rushmore podcast, we have one half of the number one bestiality podcast on the planet. Ooh. I'm talking about the impervious, the impenetrable, Ooh. the always handsome, sometimes dangerous Ooh. survivor of street attacks, the terror of Balpo, the son. Of the legend Steve O'Neill, the go kart god, the ass kicker himself, <laughs> Jeff Dennis. What's going on, man? You piece of shit. <laughs> you piece of shit. You're, oh. you're a character Jeff plays, right? On the yeah, show? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jeff actually plays Ryan O'Neill. <laughs> <He's playing laughs> Robert's Jeff, brother? The Danish Danis. <laughs> it's been going oh. on for years. You finally fucking you blew it. I dude. cracked it. Yeah. Yeah. I cracked the code. Thomas was like, yeah, I want to do the intro. And I was like, are you sure? Do you, I mean, do you really know a lot about the guy? He's like, just trust me. And I was like, all right. And it paid off. It paid off. Thank you. I trusted you. It was worth it. I've been thinking about that all day. <laughs> <laughs> and he did and, reach out to me like a week ago. And he's like, send me 50 facts about yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it actually helps, too, that whenever we had Jeff on, he did not come on video. It was just his name. And I was like, oh, shit, maybe. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that just blew the great conspiracy. <laughs> I was like, oh, no. I got to call Sam Tripoli on this shit. <laughs> yeah, that's oh, weird. People God. that we know. Like, I, I, Joey Diaz just knows us as uh, Danish and O'Neal. I don't even that's know right. if he knows which is which. <laughs> the BC Audi cocksuckers. <laughs> He's like, fucking Danish and O'Neal. What's going on, you motherfuckers? <laughs> like, it would, it would just be one of us. He'll be like. Fucking Danish and O'Neal. Look, <laughs> look, look, look at all one of you motherfuckers, Danish and O'Neal. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird. Uh, it's weird when you get into a duo. You guys are gonna go through the same thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, we've already had people try to, you know, wedge us apart. Be like, oh man, this guy's better than this guy. You, you, oh, you yeah, should we get, get rid of this guy. Blah blah. It's like, oh, no, that's dude. yeah. Yeah. That's like we're, what sucks early on because you're like, yeah. wait, am I am I pulling my own weight? Yeah. What's yeah. going on here? No, if we're gonna suck, we're gonna suck together. People don't understand like that, that. I'm the truth. talent and the charisma. Yeah, and I do all the groundwork, all yeah. the legwork. Yeah, and he's the fact checker. Yeah. Exactly. Actually, no fact checking. It's like the only rule we have. No fat chicken either. No fat chicken. No fat checking. Wordplay. Hey, I'll take a fat chick. Just depends what the face looks Ooh, like. Hundred percent, dude. What's your weight limit, by the way? Oh, uh, I can't go that high. I mean. How, what are we talking like? Like new wise? Adele to old Adele. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll go like Adele seven months into the weight loss program. Okay, so you're like at like an Adam Devine. You're in there. Yeah, you're not yeah. a man of yeah, extreme. a little pudgy. Just yeah, a little, pudgy. Just a little bit. Yeah, you yeah. can tell he was in shape at one point. Yeah, he's kind of jacked. I mean, he is a little jacked. We well, yeah. him take his shirt off and stuff. Oh, I've seen. You can see that he like worked out underneath all of that yeah in I, high school for i sure. watched pitch perfect three today <laughs> no <laughs> okay what at the in-laws house <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Surra Surra yeah you gotta get the... out of a house no family should own pitch perfect three. <laughs> <laughs> it's at the, it's in the three dollar bin at walmart yeah it's on hopefully page. you've watched did you watch the first two pitch perfect no. i thought they'd confuse me i just kind of wanted to put my own story together okay okay so jump right well. into three yeah, dude, you, you probably had no idea what's going on. Yeah, no, I normally go like Lethal Weapon, Jaws, Pitch Perfect 3 and just try to tie it all together. <laughs> it's, uh, they all are linked together in some yeah. way. That well, actually might be a good show if you, if you do three random movies like that and then try to write your through line. Yeah, speaking of Lethal Weapon, you went through some shit oh, last yeah. week. Yes, I went through it with a <laughs> guy who was a Lethal Weapon. You know, uh, I don't know what that makes me. A little, a little thing that I enjoyed was... Uh, we, we were trying to schedule this with you and we got an email basically like, Hey man, I was going for a walk and I got shot at a bunch of times. I don't have a voice. I don't think I can do this. And then you did not tell 
Jeff and them about the incident until you were on the well, podcast. Here, here's, yeah. here's what's more interesting. Thomas called me about it and was like, what, like, what does this mean? Like, is, is he, is I he, thought it was a bit. Is he doing a bit? And I was like, <laughs> I was so, like listen. A I was bit like, that I do via yeah. email? Well, <laughs> well this, is, this was my thinking. I was like, look, so we had Jeff on over two months ago. We have not gotten Ryan. And I was like, I think Ryan has finally agreed to do the show, right? And now that it's came down to like, yeah, let's fucking do it. Let's work it out. And then we get this message. And I was like, I told Pepper, I was like, I think he's going to keep agreeing to do it and coming up with a crazy fucking story right before we go to record like every week. I was, it's going to be an ongoing thing. No. If, if that was the case, I would have respected it. Yeah, it would have been hilarious. That. That Dude, I, I was actually, you guys got me. I was scared that Ari revealed my phone number because you never know with Ari. <laughs> and I go, dude. Hard. At some point, they're going to get a guy that knows me that has my phone number who's just like, fuck it. Like, I thought <laughs> I was 75% sure Ari wouldn't do it. But then yeah. also, I was like, in his mind, he'll be like, Boop, this will be super annoying. He has to change yeah, his phone yeah. number. Yeah, so, and, uh, so did the Ari clip uh, convince you to finally do it? Dude, 100%. I waited. Oh, yeah. You know, when you guys said it was going to be out? By the way, yeah. it wasn't out at 7.30. Was that what the time? It was out at like 7.33. Uh-oh. What is it? When you released that podcast, yeah. I think you said tonight at 7.30. 7.33. Wow. And so I think it was at 7.00 because I was, <laughs> I was there at 7.30. That's getting ready the Mississippi listen. internet, dude. Yeah. So well, uh, that, that was a good – it was a great strategy, by the way, because I was like, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you. They're and you better believe somebody. I had a pen and paper – like in hand ready to write down that phone number. i was like oh, i'm about to get this moment yeah pepper thought he was serious he yeah, really grabs paper i was like oh, he's yeah. not gonna give us because i know ari number. too and ari definitely would give somebody's yeah. number well i thought yeah. he would just show us like a screenshot of it. like here it is not because we're not we weren't posting the video i just clipped the videos to have a little promo okay, for ari yeah. but it's, the full episode is in video so i thought he'd do that and then when he started reading it i was like oh shit but whenever we're talking ari's gonna about be an it, asshole whenever we're, we're trying to figure out if it was real or not i was like i mean I know Ryan does take night walks. Yeah, he did say that. He does like he does all these things. <laughs> so if it is a lie, it's a very convincing well, lie. What I found hilarious was like technically we knew about it before fucking yeah. Danish knew about it. Yeah. <laughs> like I was like, we're the first <laughs> so to know wild. that Ryan got shot at <laughs> tonight. Well, because when I got home, it was about twenty four hours later. Would yeah. was when we were gonna record Beach Cops. So I was like, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. Uh, until we get on there, and then I. Uh, I think John Little had called me or something, and he's like, what's going on? And I was like, oh, I got an interesting tale for you. <laughs> and then all of a sudden, I started getting people texting, calling me, being like, what the fuck? See, I'm convinced nice that know. that guy was an amazing yeah. shot, and you're just impervious to bullets. I did say impervious yeah. in my intro. He, you know what, though? It's hard. I mean, if, if you're standing sideways, what do you got, this much? Yeah. It's tough. Yeah. It's the dark. He may have been an amazing shot. I think he's probably a horseshit shot. Yeah. <laughs> and he had mace in his eye. Yeah, that's probably the most likely story. Yeah, I mean, uh, firearms are difficult. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, especially in the heat of the moment. I mean, unless you're like a trained killer. Yeah, and I mean, like, even then people mess. It, it, with mace in your eye, plus you're a trained killer, I'd still... You're still not, getting... You're probably not going to hit someone that's standing sideways. Yeah. And also moving. Yeah, so that's the other big thing. But yeah, it was, I, part of me was like, I bet these guys don't believe, I think I, in my whole head, I was like, these guys definitely think that I'm trying to get out of something here. <laughs> I gave it a 25, 75, 25% shit. Uh, it was a bit and yeah. 75 was part of it. <laughs> well, I mean, I was like, I was like, even if it's true, who the fuck has the wherewithal to send an email, like a courteous email, to like, hey, man, you don't know. Like, I just got shot at a bunch. My voice is gone. I have to do another podcast tomorrow. Maybe I'll do it. And I'm like, hey, man, relax for a minute. It's okay. <laughs> like, you can. Dude, despite, what, despite what people think, I am super fucking professional about no, I see shit. That. Like, I am. Like, I, especially because I was like, I knew you guys. I mean, I, I can't remember if we had it scheduled or what was going on, but I knew that you guys you know, had a guest planned and I know how annoying that is. Yeah. If it doesn't, you know, if you got to find somebody else or whatever you have to do. So I was like, Oh, I got to email these guys. Cause was, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck's going to happen here. Yeah. I appreciate it. I was listening to that, uh, that excerpt from beach Cots where you're telling them and I called pepper and I was like, it just occurred to me that we knew about this before. Yeah. <laughs> before Jeff Tannis. Yeah. Fucking, you guys may professionalism. I think, I think my, I called my brother for his birthday at six 30 in the morning. Cause he's yeah. on uh central time. Yeah, uh, because I was up 
And I thought I'd get him before I went to work. And he's like, what the <laughs> fuck? Yeah. Dude, you stayed up all night or you got some <laughs> shit went wrong with you. Yeah. Your brother thinks you're a coke addict now. Yeah. He's no, I mean, he know he's like, dude, you don't, you go, you're either on your way to bed or yeah. some shit happened. And yeah. Something's kept you up. Wake yeah. Up. We're on yeah. central time here. Weird. Where are you guys? South Mississippi, Pascagoula, okay. Mississippi. Pascagoula, Mississippi. The, uh, they have had the pleasure. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's, we make, uh, battleships and aircraft carriers and uh dog food we don't personally no, us, but, but the city does, yeah, the city <laughs> okay. does. okay yeah the closest i've gone is that uh where's that unclaimed baggage place in alabama uh... where all the airlines they send all their unclaimed baggage there and then they sell them in a shop well i need to find that out that sounds this. incredible <laughs> that in sounds alabama like somewhere that My sounds buddy... like something that would be in mcintosh alabama yeah we're uh we're we're right on the gulf coast so we're by biloxi about Hour and a half from New Orleans. Yeah. Okay. That you whole got area. Real, good, real good spring break destinations. Not at well, all. The actually, water is infested with like bacteria that eats your skin. Bacteria, yeah. yeah. Now there's a thing down here in Biloxi called Black Spring Break. And that's just not that's not what like people around here call it. That's yes. like what it's called. Yeah, it's not a racist term. That's the official yeah, event. That's what name. they call it on the news. And yeah, I've weird. I've heard it. I've heard that like black colleges have set like do their spring breaks at a separate time. They do it in, in Biloxi, Mississippi. They do it in Biloxi, Mississippi. It's the number one destination for Black Spring Break. Yep. Is it really? Yeah. yeah. got to get down there. Well, you can't even go in the water, so it's a weird fucking place. Yeah. It's like, let's go be hot in the sun. And well, well, I you mean, like, you can't go in the water because there's black people in there? You no. Know, there's, <laughs> there's, <laughs> Jesus there's Christ. There's flesh-eating bacteria. And, yes, at certain times, if you go in the water, you will come out black because of the BP oil spill. Ah, okay. It's still so, uh, right in the thick still, of it. Still fucking shit up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rest in yeah, peace. well, the, does anybody tell the Black Spring Break committee that uh, maybe they should find a, a cleaner destination? Nah, they're fine. Yeah, Pensacola is not that far. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pensacola is so much better. They're like, no, dude, not even the BP oil spill. Yeah, <laughs> fuck the panhandle. Pensacola's <laughs> got Roy Jones Jr. in a clean goddamn beach. Yeah. We ain't got shit. Oh, Roy Jones Jr., man, he's fucking taking on Tyson. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. What weight is that going to be? Uh, the biggest there? one. They're 50. No, no. <laughs> Whatever they walk in at. Yeah, but Roy Jones Jr. has fought all the weight classes. Yeah, he's yeah. went from middleweight to heavyweight, I mean, cruiserweight, I, light heavyweight. Did you see his last knockout? No, huh? He got knocked through the ropes. No, nope, that, was, that was Bernard Hopkins. Oh, yeah, you're right. Oh, he, he thinks all black people look the same. So, uh, oh, it was. God, dude. No. Yeah, maybe you should go down there to Black Spring <laughs> Break and get a little bit get of an education. Back. Yeah, dude, get your ignorance washed off with that tar water. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I do think Roy Jones has been knocked out like seven times in a row yeah. at the end of his dude, career. I mean, it, it, it's because he was so amazing. He was the quickest yeah. dude around. And then that is Anderson Silva. I yeah. would say like, just like Anderson, like 2012, Anderson Silva, I think like 96 to 98, Roy Jones Jr. might be the greatest fucking boxer to ever walk there. Dude, yeah. his highlight reels are oh the my greatest. God in boxing history he bugs bunny motherfuckers he put one hand behind his back they'd fall for it and he'd slap him with the other one yeah he put his hand he would just fucking just dodge yeah. just bob and weave i was just watching some highlight reels like two weeks ago you get it's just like an it's never ending it's like yeah, i don't remember i don't 90s. remember who he fought but he was like the first person who went in the entire round without getting hit like he didn't get touched oh yeah the other guy didn't land a single punch yeah and yeah. he threw a lot <laughs> But then he got the shit knocked out of him later because yep. he is uh, he's punchy as fuck now. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's well, too bad, man. I hate to see these guys <laughs> like he like Roy Jones should not be hit even one more time. Yeah, I know, and especially not by Mike fucking Tyson. No. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Dude. Have you seen Mike Tyson's training videos lately? Yeah, he's training with fucking Rafael <laughs> Cordero. Rafael Cordero. Yeah, Rafael Cordero. It's nuts, man. Yeah, he's, he's sparring guys. with like Rafael dos Anjos and shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's nuts, dude. Like Vanderlei, like, yeah. just dude, you got to stop. Like, he's already talking about having CTE. Yeah, he challenged Mike Tyson. I know. I yeah. heard they were going to do a bare knuckle thing, and see, uh, that's for 10 our hood. Bucks. That's our that's our area. Bare knuckle is uh yeah. most of their big events are right here in Biloxi. So, They're right. Down oh, the road. is it? Okay. Yeah, Jason Knight is like one of oh, the yeah. faces of bare knuckle. We've had him on this podcast twice. He lives like fucking fifteen minutes away from here, and man. That, that dude, dude beast when yeah, it comes a, to bare knuckle. He's great. Insane. Great fucking dude. We've told the story on here a bunch of times, and it's also on an episode, but uh, he's like super country, you know, down home, clean, you know, Christian guy. And he comes on our show having no idea who the fuck we are. And we opened with a R. Kelly song. Uh, 
Do you have your passport? Did, Did you get your shots? Who wants to go <laughs> home back with Rob to, to America? America? So he played an Ethiopian New Year, R. Kelly did, and he I used the time. That. Yeah, he improv the uh, – <laughs> you have your passport did you get your shots to recruit the girls to come back home with them and we opened the show with that and jason 45 seconds into the show just looked up at us and he's like what the fuck are we doing <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but he was great R- yeah R- he came Kelly back documentary <laughs> yeah he came back he was great he enjoyed it but he thought we were idiots <laughs> hey dude like, these it, fucking guys <laughs> he lowers his defenses and gets a little more comfortable the, the yeah, second he time he came on it was like a week before his second fight with Artem Lobov. This motherfucker comes in with two uh, double, double double cheeseburgers, cheeseburgers from McDonald's from McDonald's oh. and a fucking large Coke. And we're like, shouldn't you be uh, like <laughs> cutting cut weight or something? Like, he's like, nah, it's fine. I, he did I, knock I, I him out. Fight. He won. Wait, did he beat Artem? The second Artem? fight, he knocked him out in the fifth round. Oh, okay, okay, second fight. Yeah. Okay. First fight, he lost the decision. Second fight, we had him right before both fights. And then Artem fought fucking Pauly. Yep. Ugh. Yeah. It's Polly, crazy that it, Polly would fucking lose that. But. Polly had yeah. no idea what he was getting into. Though. Yeah. If you could bet on bare knuckle, which I'm surprised. I mean, I'm sure you could on some sites or something, yeah. but uh, I would have definitely put my money on Polly in that one. Yeah. I mean, 100%. I mean, I, you, can you go there, like in Thailand, and just fucking no, you, dude no. around there taking bets? You cannot. You can only bet at the casinos here in Biloxi, which are across the street from where the fight took place. Yeah. But. I went to one, and it's the only time – I haven't been to a ton of fights, but it's the only time where I legitimately thought a guy died because the the way the knockout went, (laughs) it was one of those – it was one of those where the guy ducked a punch and then came up with an overhand. Yeah. Hit the dude directly on the jaw, and the dude went stiff immediately and went back and bounced his head like four times off the mat, and he didn't get up for like three minutes. Yeah. Only time I thought somebody died in a fight was when uh, Rashad Evans knocked out Chuck Liddell. Ooh. We, were, we were at a Buffalo Wild Wings, and my friend literally looked over at me. He's like, should we be watching this? <laughs> He's like, dude, we- that was the same. Yeah, that was the same. Just hit him, and he was just out, dude, oh God, and, and yeah. just fucking boom. Yeah, like a fucking sand. That's fucking scary. That's why, dude, that's why when I watch street fights, I'm like, what the fuck oh. are you guys doing, man? When their heads bounce off the concrete. Yeah, dude, you can easily kill somebody. Yeah, that sounds incredible. But, yeah, we're big uh, BKFC marks on this podcast for sure. We need to get I David like Feldman that. on. That's uh, Corey's brother? That is the owner oh. of BKFC. Yeah, it's Corey Feldman. <laughs> the guy, the guy who said, I'm not going to pay that guy because he fucking ran the entire fight. Oh, yeah. He was like, I didn't fight. like his performance, so he's not getting his, so his can't, purse. Can't do that. Yeah, dude, there was what? There's two organizations. One of them shady as fuck. The yeah. one that Boss Rutten got like roped yeah. into. Yeah, Chris, you'll even uh, owe him like $2 million or some shit. Yeah. Yeah, they told him they're going to give him like a hundred grand, and then the yeah. fucking guy just skipped out. I think the guy's in prison. Yeah, I think he's in prison. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Dude, that's going to suck like, for the, like, the, the oh. good professional organization that just like everybody confuses that for you. Yeah, I mean, they're <laughs> almost the same exact name, too, so yeah. it's confusing. Yeah, you got to change your name to like, we are the, uh, we are the other yeah, bare knuckle fighting the one that pays people. Yeah, we write checks fighting. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty Dude, bad. that shit's. Uh, that's next level shit, though. You want to go bare knuckle? Yeah. Like, yeah, you're getting awful. You're going to get shit. It's cut not out really face. bare knuckle because they get hand wraps. It's even so worse. Your yeah. wrist yeah. is supported and everything. They're like fucking cement blocks. Yeah. It's, it should it's, go straight bare knuckle. No wrist wraps, no hand I agree. wraps. Yeah. Do like, body. William Regal has some brass knuckles on your trunks. Brass knuckles are going to come out later. Oh, okay. Come up later. Speaking of come out, uh, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna leave. (laughs) Oh yeah. Speaking of things that are gonna come up later, here's something that's gonna come up now. Like that segue? Been working. (laughs) That's not really a segue. You just (laughs) explained what a segue was. (laughs) Uh, Dayshin O'Neill. Yeah. Podcast has probably it's 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 my favorite fan base of any podcast that I've encountered. They're incredible people. They really are. It's, it's, it's a weird thing. I don't know how it started. We've uh, the we've, most ride or die people. I would say probably twenty five percent of our listeners are fucking. I'm about to say we've inherited the fan base because yeah. they all go to bat for us now, and I'm like, uh, assuming this is a Danish and O'Neill guy. Well, I mean, they're the whole reason that uh, I had any contact with Ari Shafir. Ari Shafir said yeah. he needed a theme song, and then there was like four or five fucking people that tagged me in that tweet, and then I <laughs> hit up they're Ari. Relentless. I love it. Yeah, it's they're great. fucking great. It's all like uh, it's just like tr- it's the Rogan pyramid scheme of uh, yeah. of podcasting. It's like yeah. you got Rogan, then you got Ari gets off one side his stuff, 
Yeah. And we get some trickle down and then it yeah. just all keeps trickling down. Yeah, I will say, even if we had like um like we could have fucking like Dana White on this show. And I think people would be more excited that we got Robert O'Neill. For sure. <laughs> we could have Donald Trump in here and you'd get more downloads. <laughs> Dude, that's the weird thing. That's why people are always like, You need to have bigger guests. And I was like, We only like to have guests that we mesh well with. Exactly. Yeah, because yeah, it's yeah. gonna be fun and it's gonna be funny, and that's what people like as opposed to like, you know, I so, bigger guys. You know, some guys just don't care. They're just like, yeah, I'll yep. do it, but they're not going to try. There's right. the percentage of people that would get what you guys do and play ball is pretty fucking low. And yeah. you don't need anybody who's not going to do that. I agree. Yeah, yeah. But it's hard. We're like, we want to have new people, but it's hard to find I know. people and, that we know it for yeah. known for a long time. I'm not going to say any names for sure, but sometimes you swing and miss. Sometimes I'm like, that guy would be fucking great. And then they come on and you're like, oh, man, <laughs> like yeah. that, didn't, that didn't go well. Yeah, and no, there's, I know. Yeah. yeah, there's some people you come on and you expect them to be on what, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, what what they usually are, and then they're not. Yes, yeah, yeah, and sometimes there's factors involved in that too. Yep. It's the time and like what happened just before that. But yeah, yeah, there are people where I'm like, I thought this would go better. Yep. Yeah, it's weird. Um, all right, I got some fan questions from the DNO fan page. All right, so let's, strap let's hear the them. fuck in. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the feeling these are gonna be some oddball. <laughs> I, I I I picked some of the more logical ones. Um, Carrie Hare, uh, the guy who did Brenda Dassey Eyes, we all know and love him. Um, a great he fucking song demands pictures from your racing career. Demands pictures from my racing career. Yes. Do you want me to go? Do you have? Do you want me to go grab a pic right now? Oh, if, if we have can, a young, absolutely. Handsome Ryan O'Neill in his race suit. Let's yeah, fucking do it. Snatch one. Right, hold on right here. Up, dude. Hold I'll on, Ray. I'll be right hat. back. And when you get back, I need all right, your headphones are out, but I need to see that picture. Oh my god, he's got the, <laughs> I need dude, the picture. He's got it in his house. What oh is, my what god. Picture is that? Well, dude, I'm gonna clip this, so I know. It's gonna be up there. I'm excited. Fuck <laughs> okay. you. I mean you're taking a picture. We're on video and Pepper's <laughs> taking pictures of the screen. <laughs> oh my god. Do you know what that picture is? No, but it's, by the way, Carrie Hare would definitely be on my Rushmore of uh, DNO fans. Yeah, I like oh, that guy. He's a lot. one of the best. I like that guy a lot. I can't believe, dude. I can't believe right. you got the 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 painting of you fighting a. Oh yeah, dude. I got it. Can we see that real quick? Incredible, dude. Oh yeah. Yeah, tilt it up. Just, just I actually. Just like, there we go. There oh man, that's a good looking frame that's fucking too. Sick. Look nice. at those delts, oh, son. No, dude. It's a, it's a, <laughs> that's a that, nice you know what that is? That's this Ryan O'Neill right here. Look at this fucking guy. Oh, oh, shit. Wait, let me see. I got to get someone. There's no reflection. Look at that guy. Those Damn. aren't from the tips either. Those are just natural sun. <laughs> Damn. Dude, you look like a... A filled like out a Tony Hanscliffe with a fucking hair transplant. <laughs> 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 Very handsome. You look like you should be in like one of the kickboxer movies or something, man. Yeah, dude. That's that was that was a 19-year-old Ryan O'Neal right there. Very man. handsome. He's like... Son of a bitch. Tony Hinchcliffe and Ryan Reynolds fused. So were you racing like midgets and stuff back then? No, it was just open wheel. Oh, okay. Uh, Can't Skip say that word. We, we call him Brad Williams it's on a, the show. It's a type of car, you fucking oh. retard. <laughs> 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 it was like a – they were Formula Dodge. Okay. So they were – I think they were 160 horse. Oof. They weighed like 1,000 pounds. Yeah. I mean, it, was, it wasn't like – you know, they're not fucking – they're fast enough, though. Oh, well, when you're doing open wheel, anything's fucking fast yeah. enough. <laughs> Yeah, man. I mean, you put your foot on that clutch. And... Shut the fuck up. <laughs> so, anyways, racing. I don't know anything about cars. Uh, well, yeah, when I when I was growing up, we had a couple kids that did uh, the carts, and oh uh, yeah, we had one kid that got paralyzed. Know. Yeah, because those things are fucking insane. Yeah. You roll over. There's nothing. Have you ever seen uh two fifty uh, super carts? Oh yeah, dude. dude that's now that's insane. like insane. That's you got double the fucking horsepower of those. You know the ones that most pros come through with like two fifth or two 125 shifter carts yeah and, and sprint carts but dude these guys are i mean there's nothing and these things go like 150 yeah the ones that they were riding in i think it might have been like the the 125s that you're talking about but i mean they still went like 90 and there's dude, no protection fuck. and i mean it's hard to flip one because of the way the wheelbase is and everything like yeah it's, it's very low center of gravity right. but this guy he basically ran up another guy and ended up flipping dude, if you hit a tire if you hit tires, you're done. Yeah. Most of the time, they'll just fucking roll you I up. need to sit. I don't know if you're into stuff like this, but I, I found a video. It's a video of every 
Formula One death in history. Jesus Christ. And, <laughs> dude, there's one. This hey, is my – Yeah, definitely send it to me. I need something to jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> dude, there's one that's my absolute favorite. So, I think it's from the – probably somewhere in the 60s. So, there's a guy that's coming down a straightaway, and he pulls off because his car is on fire. So, he stops a car. Car's on fire. He's trying to get out. There's a uh, a crew ch- or what a marshal that comes over with a fire extinguisher. This is a 1960s fire extinguisher. I looked I looked up the weight of these after I saw this. They're around uh, 40 to 60 pounds, depending depending on how full they are. So the marshal is coming across. Another car is coming down the straightaway at probably like 150 miles an hour. Doesn't see the guy. Hits him. The guy, the marshal, goes flying probably 20 feet up in the fucking oh. air, somersaulting, hits the ground. The fire extinguisher hits the driver in the face. They wear open face helmets. So I, I looked up the autopsy for this guy. His face was basically touching the back of his skull. When they Holy the shit. So Jesus that guy died. The marshal died. And I'm pretty sure the guy in the car that was on fire also died. Owen Hart died. It's a great video. <laughs> Dude, that is a fucked up. I mean, there, who was that? I think the dude who either started Road and Track or Car and Driver magazine, he was, a, he was racing when he was younger, and he had a car that flipped over, no roll bar, because this is like in the 50s, oh. and his face got ripped off. Oh. And so he had, he had literally, they had to attach it, but his, it was all fucked up, so he always wore glasses, had a big beard, because like all his shit was in different places. Is that that, that movie, uh, Rush? Did you ever watch that movie with Chris Hemsworth and that other handsome guy, Daniel oh. Brühl? You're talking about you mean uh, Dr. Stephen Brule, the racing movie? No, is that? You, know what I'm <laughs> you ever watch Check It Out with Dr. Brule? I've watched oh, it no. a little bit. I haven't seen the whole thing. Yeah. Well, um, you talk. You talk about the two guys who had the rivalry. Yeah, and the guy burned it, half his face off. Was yeah. it Senna and? What's the other dude's name? Oh my god, that, that guy just died recently. His face burned off. His Chris whole Hensworth? ear and he started. Yeah, was it yeah. Senna? It was Senna though, right? I don't know. Was it Senna? I think it was. Okay. I think I watched a video on how Senna it was real died. fucking good. Ron yeah. Howard made it. Thor was in it. Okay. It was great. Yeah, Senna, the Senna's there? crash was yes. weird. Yeah, Senna's crash was kind of there was nothing like there were there was no other cars involved. There, so I watched a a video of Nat Geo explaining what happened, and they they blamed it on ride height. They said that his ride height was too low, and there was a part where the the car oh, we, kind of skidded. But then I watched another video refuting that, saying that there's no way that that happened. He's saying that the the jolt from that that one part actually pushed the steering wheel out, and he lost the steering wheel connection. Dude, what kind of piece of shit is this guy driving? What? You hit a fucking bump that's yeah. always there, and it fucking your steering wheel comes. Well, I mean, off. the way those fucking steering wheels just kind of slip in. I mean, you can kind of yeah. see it. That happened to my dad. He was driving. We had a three quarter ton, four by four, four fifty four. It was a three-speed with an extra low gear, and he's driving down the highway, dude, and the fucking steering wheel came off. Yeah. I just realized that if y'all were talking about cars or guns, it would make no difference to me. <laughs> <laughs> you could just be like, yeah, 454, a three-ton, and then you had that one. Yeah, 454, yeah. three-ton. <laughs> dude, you're shit. from Mississippi. Wait, what are your I mean, interests? Dude, we, we, I took him fishing. He refutes this, but I swear to God, I remember Different guy. I took him fishing one time, and he he grabbed a spinning reel, and the motherfucker had the real face in his face upside down. <laughs> yes. it it's like, definitely not true. It's definitely a different guy because I grew up fishing, but he has told that story to many I people. I swear that's true, dude. Let's no, go probably, back to Pitch Perfect Three. Uh, yes, more, that's more in your wheelhouse. Yes, I like movies. I like lip syncing. I like. Uh, no, that's pretty much it. Pitch Perfect 3. That's, that's it's got everything. That's the only movie you need to watch. Got all my fucking hobbies in it. Adam Devine's ripped. Could you sing a song from Pitch Perfect 3? Yeah, it's any pop song of the last 10 years. Hell yeah, dude, I love them. All right, so shit. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty so There good. you go, man. Carrie. Carrie. Uh, you got it, man. I forgot we were doing band yeah. questions. <laughs> I did right. too for a second. You, you brought it up for a second, but Lucas Purser – once a steel a steve o'neill story a fellow patriots There's man fucking a ton Which, of them out yeah there. that's kind of a broad uh thing i mean so we, y'all's episode uh, of steve o'neill that was episode 50 i believe i've listened yeah. to it i think five times it's, it's yeah the second dno episode i ever listened so i found y'all's podcast i was pressure washing the the bowels of the beau rivage casino after hurricane okay and I, I ran out of podcasts 
and Ari Shaf- I think Ari Shafir was on y'all's podcast, and I just happened upon it. He did, yeah, he phoned it in. Yeah. He's one of those guys where you think it's good, you think he's going to be good, and then he just phones it in every time. He's he's one of the we we call those people like pieces of shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. fucking Fuck idiot. Face. Okay, <laughs> let's, <laughs> let's listen, move on. The I'll listen three. We'll cut, we'll cut that part out. <laughs> I, 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 I listen. So I listened. I don't remember what it was, but y'all were talking about some funny shit, and uh, you said something about a Facebook fan page. I joined the Facebook pan, fan page immediately, and I was like, "Yo, I'm new to this podcast. What's a good episode to listen to?" And then it was like. 15 fucking people just saying episode 50 steve o'neill and i was like all right god damn it so i listened to it and i was like what the fuck because it started <laughs> out crazy and then yeah. you could tell like I, he, he he was drinking that episode wasn't he um well yeah i mean it'd be tough to find okay. him sober <laughs> so <laughs> steve o'neill's a great fucking dude, name by the way he you can tell like he progressively gets gets a little bit more drunk and he, he goes, he starts saying, like, in the beginning, he's like, he's like I, I don't want to name names and stuff. And then, and then, <laughs> then he's like, giving social security. Yeah. He's like, that son of a bitch, Steven Crowder or yeah. whatever. It's like, if he was here right now, I'd punch him in the face, I swear to God. That's kind of what I just did and felt like a real asshole about it. <laughs> you should. Yep. That was good, though, because, because we had talked about him on Boner City, so everybody was like, forever. They, were, they had to wait for that, but you yeah. got to just, you just got to go right, dive right in. God, it was such an incredible episode. You, so you got any? You got any stories? Man, I mean, I don't. I don't know what I've told and haven't told is the uh, is the problem. Shit, I mean, there's me, a lot. Doesn't matter. Right. Just whatever comes to mind. Fuck. I mean, you know the one about the gun when he pulled the gun on the guy that he caught that he cut off in traffic. Did he tell that one? Yep. Uh, okay. That was in front of the motel, right? Yeah. 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 And then he pulled the gun on the uh, the trespassers by the railroad tracks, I believe. No, they all had guns. He had no gun. That's right. And he told them to get the fuck out of here. And he <laughs> and started they... fucking going crazy on them. And then they go, hey, man, you better watch out. And he goes, if you guys shoot me, you better kill me. Because if not, I'm going to go rape all your wives. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. That was like a big move. Oh, well, oh, you know what? Hold on. I think my mom, I was. Is this a fucking Steven Seagal movie? <laughs> oh, so. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> This actually when I was just talking to my mom a couple weeks ago about some guys had stole some stayed at our motel and they stole some t- they stole the TV out of the room Ooh. and trashed the room. Yeah. But the idiots, one of them left the whoever checked in left his real name and his address. So uh, I think he had a party and I think people trashed the room. So my dad went to their fucking the, the person, whatever the address was. And it was just like a shithole, you know? I don't know if it was a trailer park or whatever, but it was a shithole. So my dad's beating on the door, and these fucking guys come out, and they're like, what the fuck is your problem? And he's like, I want my fucking TV back. And they're like, hey, man, you better fucking slow your roll. You don't know who you're fucking with. He goes, look, if I have to come back here, I'm going to bring a fucking five-gallon jug of gasoline. I'm going to (laughs) burn your fucking whole house to the ground if that TV isn't back tomorrow at my fucking motel. (laughs) And, dude, the next day... Guy brought a fucking TV back. He's <laughs> goddamn right. He yeah. bought him a brand new one. Because <laughs> there are those people, but my dad, he genuinely didn't, when he got out of control, he genuinely didn't give a fuck if he lived or died. He was like one of those guys. He just didn't. And people, yeah. you could see it in his eye, and you're like, oh, this guy's mentally unstable. <laughs> that's the that's people you got to watch out for. Yeah, and he would have. He would because he would stew over shit like that. He would just fucking be like those motherfuckers. He's like, I'm going to go. Like, if that TV had showed up, I don't doubt that he would have gone and started a fire in the house. <laughs> well, Steve O'Neill sounds like he'd be a front man for like an 80s band. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, he shares something in common with me and Thomas. We were just talking about on this other podcast that we did. He's a chicken fucker? No. We, um, we don't take being slighted well at all. Yeah. No. Like, it's actually starting to become a problem because – you got to stop it. You, I, I was the same. I was following his footsteps. It's not yeah. a healthy way to live. No, fuck it, dude. We're, we're going to keep rolling that way. If anybody fucks <laughs> us over, they're completely written out of our fucking lives. There's no way I could bend the knee to somebody who has completely fucking disrespected us, and we will continue operating that way. Pepper's going really hard. I don't feel that strongly. <laughs> okay. You, you have lost multiple jobs over, like, things that I would – Okay, like, that's well, fair. Authority's yeah, but- different. Authority's way different than just someone – sliding you in personal life right. 
But do you go like if somebody fucking cuts you off in traffic? No. no do you do fuck. you want to go find out where they fucking live? And I don't shit. think I've ever had a second of road rage. Traffic I'm I'm typically of, like, oh, oh maybe they got to go to the hospital. Maybe they <laughs> they're fucking. My wife them. almost left me once. Taking uh, a fish. Because early on in our relationship, there was a guy and he was on his phone. The light turns green, so I just give him a little honk. Yeah. He starts going and then he slams on his brakes in the middle of the intersection. Yeah. Dude, I fucking lo- I was frothing. At the fucking mouth. I pulled up next to him. I was trying to run him off the fucking road. I was like, pull over in a parking lot. The guy then was like, dude, chill the fuck out, man. He's there like, was a your lady is terrified. <laughs> yeah, there. Uh, I don't even know if my horn works. I've never honked it. But um, no, there's a fuck. I really haven't. Yeah, there's like a famous story where uh, somebody did what you did, but to Bash Rutten. And, yeah. And he pulled over. <laughs> and he was just like, all right. Boss Rutten and I, since it since it's been mentioned twice on this podcast, we have the same birthday and we talk every year on our birthday. On yeah, on, on our birthday. Wait, what? Me, yeah. me, Boss Rutten, and John Fitch share a birthday. And John every Fitch, year, good Indiana man. Yeah, every year on our birthday, I hit him up in a like a tweet, and I'm like, like, hey, what are you guys doing for your birthday? And we all we all talk every every year <laughs> what do you guys say to each other just like like what are you doing Spend what are you the doing time today? with the family yeah what have you been up to the past year yeah i mean basically hey this oh, february let's try to get them both on the podcast that would be sick as let's fuck, have a birthday actually, episode yeah. I, like i asked uh i asked boss about his how, how his arm's doing because you know he's got that fuck oh yeah arm. dude yeah. he's like oh it's still terrible and i'm like oh well, <laughs> it sucks <laughs> man <laughs> he was great and here comes the boom by the way i'm a movie guy so it's all gonna come back around Dude, you have some of the shittiest taste in movies. <laughs> Listen, I've ever. You have Pitch Perfect three, and here comes the boom. And he's hey, a Patriots fan. You're a big, uh, you're a big Kevin James guy, huh? Everybody is. So he does this movie where he's trying to get to the UFC, and Tell Bash Rutten is his is his trainer. Yeah, and he's great, and he does things like he says like shifty or some shit, and it's it's cool. Did you see that one? The one he did where he's the Nazi. What does it uh, come to? UFC do? three. No. You see that he just had an indie movie that came out. Wait, Kevin James or Boss Rutten? No, no, Kevin James. He looks like oh, Boss Rutten in it because he took his hairpiece off. But oh, uh, shit. He, yeah, bald dude, and he's a Nazi, and he's coming looking for a key I'm at interested. some people's uh, vacation homes. Nice. Leah Remini's uh, his wife. Yeah, she's she's about Scientology. She has a swastika on her forehead. <laughs> Are you into? Uh, I mean, this is. I'm not. Oh my god. Right. Are you? Do you, uh. Are you into? Well, I mean, he's German. Sure. Are are you in, into Hitler? No, I'm not. I'm not saying like. What? Do you like him? I'm just saying like. Are you into? Do you find Nazi Germany interesting? Um, because I, I do. I find all of it fascinating. Thank because you. Just studying it is. It can all happen again. Exactly. People seem to think it can't happen again, but I mean, again, I my favorite saying is that history doesn't repeat itself; it just rhymes itself. Yeah. Oh shit. Who do you think is worse, Mangala or Unit Seven Thirty One? Uh, I don't know. Mm. I don't. Who's Unit Seven Thirty One? That's uh the Imperial Nelson Japanese. Mangala? Oh, the Japanese. The Imperial Japanese. We got to be. We, I learned that you have to be specific and say Imperial Japanese so you don't be racist because the Imperial um, Japanese are done. I mean, what I have read about the Japanese did some crazy shit. <sighs> But also, I'm not like some World War II buff. This guy Damn. lives it every day, well, dude. Some somebody well, you should talk to my mom. You, she grew oh. up and uh, she wanted to do the podcast. She was born during, <laughs> so she was born in Czechoslovakia. Oh shit! At, right at the end of the war, and she has uh, four, or she has three brothers and an older sister, and uh, so they all had to flee. Like my grandmother was a, uh, she she played in the Prague Symphony and uh in the piano and then my grandfather was a doctor and he, he owned a hospital during the war war comes in they have to flee to germany because yeah. there's a, the russians are coming in and the germany like all the allied forces and it's going to be crazy so they had to flee my mom's a baby so they my grandfather paid uh a person to take them by train it took three months and at nights they would have to stay in these bunkers and all this shit um and so they saw some crazy shit. My grandmother has crazy stories. But then after that, she had nothing. She was living in a, uh, in a pastor's house in the attic with five kids, and she had to give piano lessons the rest of her life. I mean, were they, were they being pursued? No, but since he, he, he had inside information, because he was a doctor for yeah. the Third Reich because he had no Ooh. choice. And yeah. uh, so he said, you got to get the fuck out of there because 
Germany's coming in. You got Russians. Everybody's coming in. They're going to be meeting in there. Just get the fuck out of that area. So he basically He's, took the hit for the family. Yeah, he had no choice. Yeah, he, yeah. I mean, my, my grandmother would ask stuff like Jewish neighbors would leave and shit. And he's like, don't you say another fucking word. Jeez. We have five kids. Everyone's going to fucking die. Yeah. Like, don't talk about it. They went somewhere. We don't know. Just fucking don't say another word. For the record, I don't have one, but I was trying to link together a joke in my head of Third Reich and Pitch Perfect 3, and I couldn't figure anything out. I just want to put that out there. In you. <laughs> Come on, man. Dude, you're slacking. I didn't, no, watch, he, the, I didn't watch the first and second Reich. He hasn't been, he hasn't been training wordplay at altitude, <laughs> yeah. obviously. I watched Lethal dude, Weapon and Jaws idiot, and then dude. the Third Reich. Now I see why the comments are flowing in. Somebody's John not Little away. would run circles around <laughs> you, you stupid bitch. <laughs> All right. Yeah, other than that, I mean, stories I hear – and the shit I've watched on TV, but I don't go as deep as I should have. You should go probably. deep. I had a guy question my fucking knowledge the other day. He was like, uh, he sent me some joke about, uh, he was like, oh, this is Japanese radio in 1945. And it was just like an air raid siren. And I was like, ha, ha, ha. And then uh, he was like, do you get the joke? And I was like, just didn't what respond. Is- and he was like, it's, it's about the bombs. I was like, oh, do you mean like the firebombing in Tokyo in 1945? He was like, no, I mean like the bombs. I was like, oh, you mean little boy and uh, fat man? He's like, I, I, I don't get it. I was like, that's the name of the bombs. They were assembled in fucking Oak Ridge. And, man, I, I just went off. And I was like, it's bitch, like don't Kevin's fucking speaking. question my fucking World War II knowledge, you stupid dude. bitch. Well, the thing this is, guy he slighted you, dude. That yeah. 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 Don't yeah, let he's him gone don't forever. ever fucking forget <laughs> gone If you ever listen forever. to Rushmore podcast for World War II knowledge and you hear Pepper talk, you're only getting the bad guy side. All right. That's not fair. <laughs> that's not fair. I mean, honestly, that's, that's the most interesting side. <laughs> that is it true. Is, it is more interesting. All right. Uh, another question. Seth Haggard. That, that's the question? <laughs> All right. Nope. Nope. Uh, I had to read it again just to make sure I didn't uh, misspell anything, but this is what it says. When you go back in time to suck your own dick, what age are you going to be when you are the in, in time, recipient. back in time, the recipient? Dude, good question. I'll Thank tell you, you right now. I'm going to go suck this guy's dick. Oh, Ooh, God, God, me too. That's hey. the fucking guy. You, can I borrow your time machine? <laughs> dude, I can only imagine the boners that come out of that face, dude. Dude, yeah. There, you, don't, you didn't see the hole in the back of it. There's <laughs> another picture back there with the mouth just cut open. All Put right. Your uh, pinky in. Matt Colella. I think I was saying that right. Um, he wants you to sing a line of your favorite song. What's my Your fans, dude? Dog, man. Uh, dude, how about this? Uh, I had the time of my life. Yeah, yeah. I, I wanted yeah. to run into your fucking arms right then, right now, dude. Right here. Well, you should. I dude, thought five, Pitch Perfect eight. Three. I thought you were gonna hop in. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It. Nobody leaves a pitch. I don't know. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Movie's got to have a saying about uh, lip sync. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's, what's the, the tagline tag? for Pitch Perfect Three? It's like, um, <laughs> oh, it's man. probably like Thritch yeah. Perfect. Oh no, dude, it's the pitch is back. I guarantee you. <laughs> the pitch is back. Well, it's the third one, so it's the pitch left but came back again. And this time, it's you personal. thought Clayton Kershaw could pitch. How what? about the third one? <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> Clean your cunts. The pitch is back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The pitch is back, you stupid bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the pitch. The, the, uh, Patrick Swayze sang that song. Really? No, he didn't. In real life. Anyways, no, he did. No, he uh, sang that fucking uh, speaking the of other songs, one from that movie. Do you Wasn't want me the, to... Wait, the hit song from that movie was actually about Dirty Dancing. It's sung the, by um, like some studio singers, right? And then they well, put some better looking people... In the music video, I think. That one, yeah. There's another song from that movie, uh, She's Like the Wind. And oh, that's, that's, that's Patrick Swayze. He actually sings it. And I watched a documentary about Dirty Dancing on Netflix. And um, he <laughs> apparently... That's the gayest <laughs> thing you've ever said on this podcast. Apparently. You have said listen. that you wanted to fuck men. And I would. And listen, so Patrick wrote that song, right? You She's like the wind. <laughs> he wrote, wrote She's like the wind. I bet you can't take. wait till Here Comes the Boom <laughs> documentary comes out. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've been begging for a sequel in his Instagram DMs. But... He, he wrote that song or whatever and put it on tape and the studio didn't have I've had the time of my life yet and they're like we need a sound we need like a song and they were saying Patrick was basically like Dude. sliding that tape under the producer's door like hey man you want to use my you want to use my fucking song because that's an 80s movie that's 
that the story you just told is an 80s movie. That did not fucking happen. <laughs> hey, man, watch the documentary on Netflix. It's you tell me Patrick Swayze just had some fucking single yes. that he's been carrying around with him for like 10 years. Yes, she's like the win, and it made it on there. No way. I got to look it up. But, uh, watch the documentary. <laughs> dude, if your knowledge of uh, Dirty Dancing is as good as Pepper's is of World War II, then yeah. I got to take your – I'm probably going to have to take your word for it. Also, they, <laughs> they filmed the first half of the movie with Billy Zane. Patrick Swayze came in late. What is this, Back to the Future? Yeah. You're sucking your own dick, Billy Zane's and Dirty Dancing? No, like Eric Stoltz, and then they replaced Oh, yeah. <laughs> you mean like – Yeah, like they oh, had – a different actor in the movie. You don't mean like yeah. is this a time machine story. No, you're, you're stuck on the dick sucking. Sorry. Um, big Tony Inchcliffe, man. It fucking gets me. Dude, how dare you? This is six <laughs> foot two. This is six foot two of man over here. This is in five Wait, four. Six foot two? I mean, I'm 5'9", technically. That's what I thought, dude. <laughs> but back then, he was 6'2". That's crazy. Dude, I'm 5'9". Yeah. In California, I'm, uh, I'm a California king. I'm 6'2". I'm a little longer. Oh, because <laughs> of the barometric pressure, I get it. In yes. the mountains. Stretched yeah. out a little right. bit. You have another fan question? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay. Do you, want me to- <laughs> That's the, you just talk about this rabid fan base, and then it, there's three questions. <laughs> I mean, do you don't want to hear the ones at the bottom of the barrel? They were bad, dude. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they're terrible. Yeah. Do you want me to drop a new uh, Dan Shoneal song on this podcast right now? Yeah. Wait, how bad are they? Let me just – what, what subject right. matters do Hold they on. care? <laughs> I, I'll, I'll look up. Thomas, uh, talk about your dumb fuck movies for a second or whatever. So when's the last time you watched um, – well, see, there's this movie with Robert Downey Jr. where he has these angels that follow him All around. All right, I got some. <laughs> okay. Um, Heart and Soul. One. If Heart it hurts my feelings too much, then I'm not going to continue on this road. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna say. Uh, tell him to watch Stevie. God damn it! Check the beach. Oh, drops I've email. seen Stevie. The problem is, dude, I can't make fun of that movie because it just feels oh so God. fucking bad. Dude, so so <laughs> while we're while we're bad. talking about all this shit, somebody just uh, DM me a, a Nazi documentary. I swear to God, somebody is just this DM live? me. No, no. it's okay. not. But that's how. That's how much he there. is into it. Uh, it's, a, it's a thing. It's Somebody weird. said we should do a uh, rush more of worst pop culture icons. I thought that I mean that was, that's not bad. Kevin James. Fuck you, dude. Um well, these actually aren't that bad. I kind of shit on them a little too hard. <laughs> uh somebody said ask how tall he is. Well, we went over that. 59. 62 six, in California. 62 in California. 62 when I'm in the ocean. <clears throat> All right. This is from Anna Here we Casey. go. This guy clears his throat. So this is uh <laughs> yeah, this is just a it, it, all right yeah this is from anna case who we all know her uh i think she's pre-law thomas is that right can you confirm filibuster all right uh i'd like to hear more about how he became friends with the danish and how often they work together that's a and great if they question. have future podcast plans yeah but that's just, is is that better than sing a song we've we've uh well we yeah we've had uh we, we've told that story a lot. and uh, Exactly. Yeah, we do plan on doing future podcasts. <laughs> yeah. Nice, dude. Like next All week, right, maybe? Ask and answer. Yeah, okay. We, we have one coming out Monday. Yeah. Bert Perkins wants to know what your pussy looks like. Oh, uh, it's, it's actually very trim. Oh. Yeah, it's not like a meaty one. Yeah, mine's All pretty right. uh, Mitch Barber just commented episode two of the, of the Unsolved Mysteries reboot. Oh, uh, is that the one with they murder that guy murdered the whole family? Spoiler alert! Know. If you That's haven't every seen episode, it. Huh? I haven't seen it. This guy's yeah, dude. You got to You're watching. Here comes the boom. You be watching <laughs> these Netflix documentaries. I, I just watch Nazi documentaries and racing videos. Okay. Jesus yeah. Well, I just watched uh, Unsolved and Mysteries. Tool Restoration. You ever you ever watch Tool Restoration? No, but have you seen these indigenous guys that yeah uh, build fucking underground swimming pools yeah. and shit I, you're, not, I, you're not impressed well no i am impressed but w- once i figured out like what it was like it's a dude with a youtube channel that just does this all the time and it's not like yeah yeah if you've seen a couple you're like but I it's get still it. like even even with that caveat it's still pretty goddamn impressive hey the document yeah. documentary is called the movies that made us about <laughs> dirty dancing <laughs> oh is that i actually have that on my uh, to watch list. oh it's really good you should watch it <laughs> All right, Bruce Comanche wants to know when does boogie boarding season commence, and will they pick up Dewitt as a fourth member? Uh, so we're in the middle of the uh, of the boarding season, but uh, I don't know if Dewitt wants to go. He's a busy man. 
Yeah. He's got, he's got a lot of responsibilities. Oh, shit. Oh, I almost forgot. What? You were going to premiere a song nope, a while fuck ago. fuck you. This okay. is the most important part of this podcast, and I'm sorry that I almost forgot about it. Okay. So, wizard naming. You are yeah. the absolute <laughs> king of yeah, wizard dude. naming. If wizard naming was a sport, you would win the gold medal every single fucking year. It's not, There's no question. The close second... There is no close. Second. Dumbledore. The second is fucking miles behind. It's not yeah. even. It's not even fair. It's it's, it's as, as if you were in a modern F one car and the second place is in a fucking bicycle. Yes. In a fucking old Chrysler K car, man. Yeah. Um, Thomas McCormick does not have. Oh, he doesn't a have wizard. a wizard name. All right. Well, I the do. wand. The wand stops here, my friend. Wow. This is the premier fucking wizard naming guy you're very fortunate here so are you ready for it yeah i'm sitting are you? I'm in you, you, i broke a sweat a, hold on let me light a cigarette me. all right it's uh uh it's bluckner <gasps> uh Bl bluckner fremental holy shit bluckner, Bl that's one of the best ones bluckner, fremental 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 wow. Yeah, which, whichever one. You can go either way. I fucking love it. I love it. I'll change my Shit, Twitter handle. Dude. Damn, dude. That's a good... You got a that's good That's a great one. name. Yeah. I appreciate it. Holy shit. I've always wanted to be a wizard. That's one of the best ones. Does, does he even know about the wizard name? Yeah, he I'm has, aware. He has okay, no idea. Okay. No, I'm aware. So, we actually have... We asked Jeff, and uh, he was like, Ryan's the wizard naming guy, and then Pepper was a fucking idiot and asked Jeff to name me. My, my secretary at work, I, I just walked in the office one day, and... um. I just turned to her and I was like, oh my God, I think I'm about to get my wizard name. I can't wait. And she's like, what? <laughs> and I was like, so I listen to a podcast with a guy <laughs> who, oh, who gives everybody wizard names. And, and I, I, I read the episode title and it says A to G O I. So it's, yeah. I mean, it's got to be me. And she was like, really? I was like, yeah. And then later in the day, I texted her. I was like, do you want to know what my wizard <laughs> name is? And she was like, yes. And I, it, it's, it's, God, I'm I'm very embarrassed that I don't remember it right now. Something fibble not, isn't it? Something like that. Yes. <laughs> if, if, if it's not, that's a great fucking wizard name. I'll buy Thank that. You. From you. Yeah, let's. I'm say, let's <laughs> fucking go in. Let me be your partner. But uh, she was like, she's like, oh, I'm I'm so I'm <laughs> so happy for knob. you. I feel pretty good about that. I think it was that. It's it's fiddler doodle knob. Ah, oh, fiddler <laughs> doodle knob. <laughs> that's pretty good. But fibble knot's also pretty fucking good. <laughs> to Dude, be yeah. fair. I will, I will be completely candid and say that you do your best wizard naming at the front part of the episode, and, you know, and I was the last one, but it's a fucking great one. I'll fucking take it. And, There's and, a lot of pressure. They give me a lot oh. of pressure to speed it up when we get to about and a 45 And Andrew minutes. never <laughs> stops fucking bitching about it. It's he like genuinely Andrew, pissed. He is the best wizard namer of yeah, all well, time. we don't know. World. I feel like I'm uh, one of those comics – that has a really that has to churn out material so often. So then I'm just buying other people's wizard names, <laughs> and then do and then that's what I might have to start doing. Dude, I, hey, I, bet, I got you. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I can figure something. <laughs> Hit me up. Fibble okay. knot's not my best work. I can I can go deeper. Um, it's fibble think, knot. Not K N O T. Fibble knot. Fibble knot. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. If I remember it, I'm gonna I'm gonna use it. All right. Uh, I think Pepper wanted to premiere a DNO song for you, and then we can get into our goddamn topic. Yeah. Um, you remember the death metal cover that I did? Yeah. Uh, I didn't like it, and people were bitching about it, so I read a new one. Oh, man. Wait, is it still going? 
<laughs> so, okay, okay. So we uh we did someone else's podcast right before this one, uh, promoting a charity event that we're hosting next weekend called Frets for Pets, which is raising money for animal shelters. Yep. And Pepper broke that song out on that podcast about an animal charity. <laughs> Oops. It's not too shabby. Bestiality run for like six minutes on these other people's podcasts. Well, I mean, if if you wanted to fuck animals, you'd probably want them to have food and stay alive. Yep. So also, I think that a lot of those animals in shelters are uh, sexual abuse survivors. Exactly. Yes. So and that's what we're looking for. That. Yeah. People want to avoid it, but I think it's more common than you think. And uh-huh. you know, there was there some dumbass. I think from that fucking stupid fart, fart tongue. What is it? I don't know what you're talking about. Fart mouth. University oh, fart. that fucking stupid Dude, show. They they fucking said something about like, oh, well, be- bestiality is illegal. I was like, not in all states. Not yeah. in all states. Yeah. We're in Mississippi. We fucked every deer on this wall before they went up. Yeah. Dude, you, get, learn your fucking bestiality. Learn law. beast law. Yeah, you stupid law. bitch. Filibuster. Beast okay, guys. Dude, right. that's. That's what everyone thinks. Hey, look, I was, I was naive at one point. I thought the same thing, that I did a little research. Turns out only – America's a pretty goddamn free country. States. I think 38 states, it's legal. Yeah, and those other 12 mm, – Probably like New York. Yeah, avoid them. Yeah. Liberal fucking, fucking yeah. Hot spots. Where you they don't know how them. to fucking party. Let's get into our goddamn topic, Pepper. Let's you want to introduce the podcast? Welcome to the Rushmore Podcast. My name is Pepper. My name is Thomas. This is a podcast where we take our Mount Rushmore of any given topic. And if you listen to at least, uh, we're probably at, what, like an hour now? <laughs> You'll figure out what the fuck we do with it. Um, this week's topic is street fighting weapons. Let's fucking go. My number four on my Mount Rushmore of street fighting weapons is. Weapons? Weapons hmm. is car antenna. Car antenna. <laughs> oh shit! What? You ever been hit by one? Yeah, they hurt, dude. Yeah, they, they hurt. They, they, they so do bad. fucking hurt. That's pretty oh, good. Man. At first, I thought that sucks, and then I was like, No, no, I remember getting hit by a car. They're yeah. easy to wield too. Yeah, you get lashed yeah. with one of those and things. It, you can't. It's it's one of those things you can't catch it either because it's it's so small. If hurt you try to catch it, you'll fuck up yeah. your hand. Probably cut it. Yeah. Dude, now though it's harder to get. Most antennas are integrated into the uh, window. That's true. That's so the why, windshield or the rear? That's why I steal them at Walmart. You think they hit harder if they were listening to, like, worse music? That's why I steal them at Walmart off of older cars. <laughs> yeah, dude. And I like the ones that used to just come up, like on the old Cadillacs. They used yeah. to yeah. come up. And then you can – because you can collapse them. Yeah, they're growers, yeah. not showers. Yeah, yeah, those exactly. are the, yeah, the collapsible ones are – yeah, that's, that's mainly what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, dude, I like those that. things hurt so fucking. But you ever got hit in the in the back of the calf? That that's always like where your douchebag friends. Yeah, my social studies you. teacher hit me with one of those. Really? No. It's a yeah. That you might be able to press <laughs> charges on that still. <laughs> yeah, she's dead. I... She's <laughs> so wait. So now, what do I do? My number four. Well, so we have... what, we're, what we're gonna do? We're gonna like circle up to our number one. So Tom's is gonna go next. You're gonna go. Okay. And then I'll go with my number three. And then we go down to number one for the Grand Reveal yeah. Street. And you will weapons. be the number, the last. You're bringing one. it home. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You have experience in the field. My number four is not in this message thread that I'm looking at. Here it is. A used syringe. Oh, mm. yeah. Can you guarantee that it has some sort of infection on the end of it? Well, it came out of me, so yes. Okay. No, I stabbed it. I stabbed an AIDS patient with it. All right. What can you get now with a used syringe like these days? Oh, did you see the AIDS w- isn't that bad. stop? Did you see the WikiLeaks dump where it? Uh, Steve said Jobs had AIDS. Steve Jobs had AIDS. Old news. Oh Jesus! What was he? He's pounding Jesus so much not pussy. Have AIDS. Yeah, pounding a bunch of man pussy. That's probably what the turtleneck was all about to hide from AIDS. Justin Timberlake played him, didn't he? Or was that Ashton Kutcher? Both, actually. Something Two to do with movies. movies. Oh, I've never they, seen any movies. So Steve Jobs had AIDS. Yeah, it was like a uh, a te- I said a drug test. It was like a test from uh, 2004 where he did not have gonorrhea, did not have chlamydia, 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 but he tested positive for AIDS. Chlamydia? <laughs> is that is that? That's what I call CNN. Is that a media? Fuck those motherfuckers. A media <laughs> all about chlamydia. Dude, what? Uh, so this this came from WikiLeaks or yeah, Sam yeah, Tripoli? Yeah. Wiki- no, WikiLeaks officially. It was dumped okay. uh, yesterday. I'll have to check it out. I did not know that. This is very interesting news. I don't know how it changes. 
I don't know how it changes anything in history. Yeah, not at all. But uh, I guess it's just like, oh, yeah. fuck. Hey, See, yeah, right. I saw it, and I was like, no, that kind of makes sense. The, the <laughs> documents in that dump, I mean, you will find something that interests you. There's a lot of shit about Scientology. I didn't look oh, at it. Oh, I like that. I like there's that. There's a lot of files on Scientology. So those guys are right down the street from me. They're creepy motherfuckers, man. Yeah, I don't trust them. They yeah, fly uh, my car all the time. Danny Masterson just went to prison or whatever. That 70s show, The Ranch, that guy, they rape yeah. people? Yep. Scientology. Yeah. Three, three alleged rapes. Yes. He's going down. Now they're, saying, now they're saying the Church of Scientology uh, got other victims to drop the charges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I mean, that shit happened a long time ago. Yeah, it was like 2001 or some shit. It was when he was yeah. on that '70s show. That's wild. I love the ranch. Rest in peace, the ranch. You Ryan, really like the ranch? Four? Oh, dude, yeah. it's a great fucking show. Um, my number four would be uh, Pitch Perfect three DVD. <laughs> oh wow. wow! No, I'm going with uh, vacuum cleaner cord. I rip it out. Oh, okay. Hit it with the hit, hit it with the plug in part. And that's a three prong, huh? That's yeah. yeah it is. Yeah, it's got a ground. You need um, 120 volts on that. Is that yeah. right? I don't know much about electricity. Yeah, yeah no, it's, right. it's like y'all talking about cars. I, I dabble in electricity, and you are right. Yes. Yeah, you're talking about yeah. like a 454 cord with a three iron. Oh. Have you ever Have you ever got uh, shocked by 220? Is that what's an electric fence? Because uh, we had electric fences all over the farm. So that is volts, not amps. Oh, you're talking amps. Aren't amps the ones that kill you? Yeah, yeah. Okay. No. So no, two twenty. That's like a. That's like what you plug your like the the big plug that you pl- like, a like a dryer. Yeah, washer. yeah. Oh yeah. Dryers. No, I have not. Great I'm, guess. By I've me. I've have what? Great guess by me. I didn't know what you were talking about. Oh, okay. I guess washer okay. and dryer. I've gotten hit by that twice. The first time was a plasma Ooh. cutter, hmm. and uh, somebody had run over the plug. And when I plugged it in, my fingers wrapped over the plug, and oh, so I didn't even know I got. This is how strong 220 is. I didn't even know I got I got hit. I thought somebody was playing a joke on me, and they came up behind me and kicked me in the back of my boot because that's where it exited. Oh, and I, shit. I got up and turned around and was like, what the fuck? Because my boot came off the fucking floor. Like, I got blown off of it, basically. I was like, what the fuck? I didn't even realize I got shocked until I realized that my heart was going, like, 200 miles an hour. And I was like, fuck. And, yeah, Damn. I was pretty- I, I got hit by that twice. It's not. Oh, the second time was me trying to take a light bulb out of my oven. <laughs> what? Wait, how did that? Would you were you take it out with your tongue? I tried to take <laughs> it out and the glass part broke. So I got oh. uh, some needle nose and was trying to twist oh, it, dude. twist the metal part out. You got to stick a potato up there. Damn, that's it. a good idea. Well, yeah, no, yeah, that would work. Yeah. And also turn the unplugged the fucking oven. Well, I didn't even yeah, think yeah. about turn that. The fuse my off my on off switch on my oven doesn't have any markings on it. So Unplug I just, it. I had a 50 yeah, 50. What, shot. what are you hardwired in? I just figured I had a 50 50 shot and I rolled the dice. <laughs> the master so, wouldn't let him. I, Dude, what, I, what were you standing in a bucket of water also? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck are yeah. you doing? I, I was barefoot. I had uh, the needle nose. I, I hit it on the, the oven grate, like the, the rack in the oven. It uh, welded my pliers shut. Oh, and, fuck. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Yeah, that's – I had a buddy whose dad was a big electrician. <laughs> and I, he, the stories they would tell me scared the shit out of me. Dude. And just being shocked by electric fences, I, I have a fear of fucking with uh, electricity. You ever pee on one? I have peed on one. My brother, first time ever happened, my brother dared me to when we were little kids. He's like, it's not going to be bad, and motherfucker. Dude. dude, people think that's a fucking myth, dude. That no, is it, not. It'll follow. It'll channel. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Fucking, you can't have a... You and can, piss, okay. piss is highly conductive, too, with all the salts in it. Yeah. It's not a fucking... It, it's, a, it's such a weird shock because it's like, it's like up in... It's like getting hit in the balls almost. Like, it almost shocks like your bladder. It goes through your, your whole body. It's just like yeah. a fucking boom. It's Have you seen those weird. fucking guys, you know, that, that work on the big-ass power lines? That mm-hmm. They drop them down with helicopters, lower them down on the lines. Yeah. But shit can arc. Guys get fucking – yeah, that's a – fuck that. Yeah, I don't mess I, with I'm, electricity. I've, I've been forced to work with electricity more over the past couple of years, so I've learned more about it, and I've learned – how it works more just so I can be th- th- nobody gives a fuck my number three on my Mount Rushmore <laughs> I of, care hey I care Jen- Jennifer Garner played Electra shut the fuck up if uh, I don't know anything about the topic I just shitty movie 
My number <laughs> we'll three it together. on my Mount Rushmore of uh, street fighting weapons is brass knuckles. Oh, that's uh, a good people one. People think that's they don't work. One. William Regal used to use them all the time. This is a big shout out to our uh, ex producer, Steve O. Oh, rest in peace. Steve O. He's, he's dead or he just left the show? Well, we don't know. <laughs> he's, your, he's your bush man? We just yeah, fell off the face of the earth. We okay. don't we don't we don't like to talk about what happened with that on the show. Yeah. It's a sore rest in peace. Sore thing. We hope he's doing well. He's dead to us. We hope he's uh, doing well. No, he's a great guy. You. He's a great guy. But he might be dead. Might be dead. Okay. Yeah. We'll see. The jury's still out. Rest in peace. I am judge, jury, and executioner. But he got in a fight with brass knuckles. Pepper uh, executed him. The um the guy that he was fighting, he basically pulled up to a guy's house, the guy came out, they just started fighting. It was like over a girl, something fucking stupid. So he had uh, brass knuckles or the other guy did? The other guy had brass oh, knuckles. Oh, shit. By the way, Steve-O is a cheerleading coach. Very athletic guy. Yeah. He can do a standing backflip, no problem. No problem. Um, really? So he was, he was getting punched by this dude, and he was like, man, this guy punches hard as fuck. I got to fucking – like, he, he, he was trying <laughs> was he to, like, him? get <laughs> like, – you know, after school special? Yeah, he was, he was like, man, this guy punches really hard. And then the guy ended up stopping the fight. He, he, was, like, he was like, yo, 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 chill, chill, chill. Dude, we, you need to go to the hospital. He's like, why? And then he, he looked down at his shirt and he realized like he had a blood mask and there was fucking blood like dripping, like streaming off his fucking face. Oh. Wait, the guy beating him with brass knuckles was the voice of reason? Yes, he stopped it because he, he was... What did he think was going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, dude, he's lucky that that guy had some fucking sense. Yeah. yeah. Where he's like, all right, dude, this, I didn't think, yeah, this shit, you know I didn't think it was going to go like this. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you'd hit me back or something. Yeah, Take him from yeah, me. He got fucked up. And, I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell by his face. His face looks fine today. Very good looking guy. I mean. Rest in peace. That's, that's the only experience that I've, I've heard of with, with brass knuckles where it actually panned out and worked. But because of that, man, I, I carry some. Carry well, some William, in my car. Where, uh, William Regal in the early 2000s in the WWE. He was a heel. He was a bad guy. And that was his finish move was he would hide the brass knuckles in his trunks and he'd always like sneak them and hit the guy when the ref wasn't looking. Dude, what if, what if those fucking brass knuckles shifted in your shorts and then you get hit in the nuts and it's just brass knuckles ramming right into your sack? Well, I do wear mostly shorts. I'm glad you pointed that out. Yeah, yeah. Um, stop doing that. I generally just keep them in the car. You have brass knuckles? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. <laughs> they're aluminum, so they're not actually brass. That's They're fucking lighter. stupid. That's different. They're lighter. Dude, are they, are, are they strong enough? To, yeah. yeah, yeah. No, yeah, solid, I mean, solid aluminum. It's pretty special. Yeah, but fuck. I, dude, can you get spread, spend the extra dough and get some fucking titanium? Unless, <laughs> unless the guy... Unbreakable. Vibranium Unless the guy has... Uh, that steel face? No. I, I forgot what you're looking for. Gallium. Unless the guy has a gallium face, I'm probably fine. Gallium yep. fucks up aluminum. Hey, you're going to dig my number Damn, three. Damn, dude. Nobody gives a fuck. You're going to dig gallium. my number three, Pepper. Yeah, I can't wait, dude. It's a shovel. All right. Dude, that was one of mine. Oh. You motherfucker. I had it's it's fine. We do crossover. Crossover. Yeah. Right. No, no. Let's cross three. I'll, 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 get, I'll just go to my number two. I have some backups. <laughs> okay. All right. Yeah, it's a fucking shovel. First yeah, of all, dude. Very dangerous. First of all, the movie Shaun of the Dead. Okay. He uses a shovel in that movie. You can stab. Um, you can hit. You can dig. Yep. When you're done. Wow. When you're done. Okay. After. Yeah. Okay. You want to bury. You want to be respectful. You can also go low. You can. You have leverage on the foot. If yes. your aim is good and you can want to go and cut a guy's foot in half. You're also, done. yeah. Also, you don't have to use a shovel in. You also have a long fucking rod you can beat him with. No, you use the shovel in. Yeah. What are you? What are you getting <laughs> cocky now? You're like. Yeah. By the way, I, I'm yeah. so good. I'll break that out shovel. if I need it. <laughs> I'm not even going to use the yeah, fucking things, shovel part. Yeah. If things go awry, flip it over. Have Have you seen like the famous shovel fight where the girl throws a shovel? Yeah. Well, that's not a shovel fight. That's one girl running away and another one throwing a shovel. I mean. <laughs> That's it, not a fucking yeah. fight. All right, that's fair. I mean, that, that it's a devastating weapon. You're you're right. But yes, shovel's a great weapon. Here's my problem with a shovel. You get one shot, and if that shot that's not true, that's pretty goddamn true. Okay, I'd say it's good for multiple attackers if you can just start swinging oh, around yeah. in a. That's in the a big room. thing is that it, it has range. Distance. Yeah. Yep. Okay. I, I, I do respect that. Once you if you swing and miss, that guy's running in on you. Yeah, but you can also Pepper's hold point. it. You can hold it like this. You got the oh, handle. You, you mean use the handle? And, Great yeah. idea, Thomas. Fuck you. <laughs> you should use the fucking handle. Okay, no, that's stupid. 
You were talking about holding the shovel in and you, using the. Yeah, dude, was, you, yeah. You, you were talking about gripping it and like ramming people in the face. Like <laughs> yeah, that. no, I was actually talking about like kind of poking them a little bit. <laughs> the fuck was that noise? Irritating them. I think that was either a ice machine, a rat, or the Imperial dude, Japanese. Where, where do you live? A Holiday Inn? Who has a fucking ice machine <laughs> in their basement? I've actually never been here. We're yeah, the, we're in a weird location. We're at Pepper's in laws. It actually kind of worked out great because we got an awesome background. Yeah. But uh, yeah, there were some extenuating circumstances. We had to move our uh, okay. normal studio. Yeah. But this is cool. This is like the tenth place that we've fucking recorded the, <laughs> this podcast. At. Yeah. Just we're, add another one. To we're the mobile. Um. Oh, wait. So now I'm three. Was this You're number, two, three? number three? Number yeah. three. Dude, I'm going with. I'm gonna go with Chinese stars. Oh shit! Because I Bruce think Lee. most people they're going to be intimidated when they first see them, even though mm-hmm. they don't do a lot of damage. Yep. <laughs> you know, when they stick in you, they're probably going to annoy you more. But yep. if you have a ton of them and you're good, yeah, I think people will leave. I think they're like, "This fucking guy's nuts." Because who the hell is going to bring Chinese stars? People to a fight? don't take that more into account when it comes to stuff like this. Intimidation's over half the battle. It, yep. Thank you. You can you can neutralize a fight by just being crazy as fuck yes and i've done it a couple times it's steve o'neill style yeah yeah you 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 come at them with 150 uh, percent, and they're like whoa 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 chill dude chill chill gasoline yeah. would have been a great choice <laughs> great yeah, weapon dude. um what did i used to carry I, so i used to carry i used to make ass whooping sticks because I, I used to trim trees at work and i would get like a good stick and i'd be like oh keep this stick. why'd you name it that you I mean, whoop it was an just, ass with it's it? just what it was. <laughs> okay. And if Beat so, I used to keep it in my car. And if if somebody wanted to start some shit, and you pull out a fucking a tree branch, and I'm not, I'm I'm talking about like yeah, like, reason, like it's got a good grip yeah. on it, but it's like obviously an it's like unfinished a club. tree. Yes. If somebody brings that out, and then they're like, "Whoa, dude, dude, no." Like, like, it's not, you didn't just pick it up because they're like, he did carve out a handle, but it's still yeah. a tree branch. People exactly. will freak the fuck out. I would freak yeah. the fuck out. Yeah. I'd have, yeah. Who was that I knew that, I knew someone that carried a samurai sword in their car with them. Joe Rogan. Wow. I think it was Tripoli. Oh, yeah. He's like, sense. if you get in a fucking fight, man, you pull up this, people Dude. fucking run. They're like, this fucking guy's crazy. Nobody's going to fight you if, you're, if you got a samurai sword, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they'll fucking beat lizard people, bro. <laughs> yeah. You can defend with it, bro. It's fucking it makes sense. Y'all both do a great same trip. Thanks, dude. We won't go so, tell different. <laughs> so yeah, I think if someone sees if you if you get hit and it sticks in you, yeah, uh, you're why wouldn't you? What do you what do you have to gain by sticking around for that fight? Yeah, and <laughs> and what what they're thinking if, if they get hit with a ninja star, what what are they? They're thinking like, what the fuck else does this dude have? Yeah, and yeah. what does he know? This you really yeah. is into Asian culture, and that, that's yeah. it, unlike a throwing yeah, obviously, knife. If you have Chinese stars, you know martial arts. Yeah, it's a fact. Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nobody's like. <laughs> yeah. I've just mastered Chinese stars. Yeah. Yeah. What else? Yeah. <laughs> no Wing Chun, just fucking stars. And I, I, I'm sure I know for a fact that you have fucked with throwing knives, and that and is. And I have very, a shitload of Chinese stars. Yeah. <laughs> But like throwing knives, that's that's a very hard thing to like yeah. actually master, and especially because you usually have to do like paces and stuff like that. In in a fight, that would be kind of hard because if it just lands flat on somebody's chest, it's like you just like, get hit with the back of the handle, yeah. or it fucking yeah. Comes with a in Chinese straight. star, you have a hundred percent stick ratio. Yeah, yeah, that is sure. a good one. Unless you get one of those like, those ornate ones, you know. That have like four claws where you're like, this motherfucker's nah, not sticking dude. in anything. You get the cheap ones from the flea market, and that's what it is. Yeah. What it is. It's what it is. Make no mistake, it's Make what no it is. Make no mistake, it's what it is. We are the history hyenas. Is that, oh, is that they're saying? I didn't know. Yeah. yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, my, <laughs> a couple gay got, Republican kids over here. Oh, dude. Hey. Oh, fucking right wing ling for ladder 14. That's Make fucking no me, dude. I'm gay as fuck it's, right now, dude. It's what it is. I'm an FF I'm a, for I'm, sure. Yeah, I'm an FCF. Right. All right. All right. Awesome. Yes. I support you guys. A lot of history. Hyenas logo. I feel bad about my number one and two now. Ooh, why? Are they bad? I went, I went very obvious. What's your number two? I went with like what my two is really obvious. Thought. Yeah, my two is very All obvious. Right. My number two on my Rushmore of well, same at the same time on three if they're that obvious. Street fighting epics. Uh, uh, you fucked me up. Uno, street. dos, tres. Knife. Gun. Fuck. He brought a knife uh, to a gunfight. Dude, I need. I didn't even think about 
either of those two. Yeah. <laughs> that should be fresh on your fucking I mean, mind, Ron. It's, it's pretty obvious, dude. Yeah. I mean, I well, thought we were going to fight like men with, with regular weapons. With, not, <laughs> with obscure weapons. Yeah. yeah. We were going to fight like men with fucking with Chinese Asian, throwing stars. Yeah. Yeah. You bring your shovel, I'll bring my throwing yeah. stars. <laughs> you have, yeah. I got That's, a used syringe over here. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I'd watch that pay per view for sure, dude. Yeah. You and Thomas. Ellis Mania, Ryan versus Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan gets Wait, Thomas. how much do you weigh? I'm like 230. Oh, so you're Lewis's size. Can, I weigh yeah. 180 right now. <laughs> he, can, okay. he can cut. He can cut. Yeah, I can, I can get to 180. Yeah. Oh, all you have to do, evidently, my uh, my fighting. All you have to do is get within thirty pounds of me. Yeah, yeah and, that's and then some I'll bullshit. take the fight. I do have a humble brag bachelor's degree in nutrition. I could cut to one eighty if I needed to. <laughs> that is ridiculous, but also true. <laughs> yeah, this is very true. Um, oh, so, you, never... so you got knife and, and you got gun. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. Full disclosure: My number one is gun. <laughs> okay. Well, my number one's way cooler than that. All right, we can save that. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, you bring a. You, you pull out a gun. Is it a throwing knife or a hunting knife or a pocket knife? Um, Be specific. What I roll with. You're fighting Adam Ray. Okay. What do you got? I don't care. Well, that makes more. He he is a he is a bag full of blood, and I will cut him. Oh. I, I don't care who the person is. Okay. It could be anybody, any Donald Trump. Oh, well, uh, I don't think. I don't know why I said that. Yeah, that's a weird pull. Be, I don't know. Wait, did you just. Sorry. I don't, did you, you're going to get a visit from the fucking. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I can't Jesus say that. Christ. Forgot about that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, the guy from Jurassic Park. It could be that guy. Jeff Goldblum. Okay, yeah. Yeah, life finds a way. I was talking about the man. Uh, oh, Wayne Knight? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Fucking no, Newman. No, no, not that guy. The other that's guy. Newman, right? No. The uh, other are you guy. talking about uh, Sam Neill? Samuel L. Yes. Jackson. Oh, yes, Sam yeah, Neill. Sa- Samuel L. Okay. Jackson. Vince Vaughn from Jurassic Park 3. Yeah. <laughs> you that. love I'm three. You I'm love big three. Yeah. part three of everything. <laughs> yep. We 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 already did our Mount Rushmore trilogies. Yeah. But we should do our Mount Rushmore of number three oh, in a that's, series movies. That's great, dude. That, yeah, that's that is good. Not, that's not great. I like it a lot, that's actually. A shitty, no, no. I would shine on that episode. No. Dude, I, I yeah. Don't, I don't watch movies. Pepper would be like Third Reich. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> So you got okay. So my so I'm going with a hammer. Oh, oh shit. Okay. All right. I got. I got yeah. questions. About dick. I got questions. Okay. You going with ball peen, claw, dead blow? What are we going? Claw, with? dude. Nice. Fucking ball peen could slide off. You need a flat. Ed- you need that flat surface. Mm-hmm. And if you need to claw, you can always claw. There's always that option. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Like if you want to fuck up their car afterwards, you just want to dig that fucking claw right in. Yeah, but a ball peen is got it's got more weight behind it's got, it. Yeah, and I mean yeah. a dead, a, if you if you got a brass tip dead blow, that's a good one too. Yeah, Especially if, if you're if you're looking to fuck some shit up because that puts all the energy in it poof, immediately. I just like the weight. And I like the I like the, I like how it flows. So are you are you rolling with like a like a good hammer like an East Wing? Are you going with like some piece of shit like hickory fucking handle? No, I get. I want some. I mean, I went to Home Depot and bought whatever their fucking generic brand. Uh, I don't even know what what is Home Depot. What's their brand? They, they like, must sell some good shit. Cobalt. They might. I don't know. I don't know. It's like a, it's like a wood handle hammer. Do you want me to go check it right now? Yeah, please. Yeah, I've please. got I've got two hammers for safety, self defense, <laughs> yeah. right here. I'll bring Hell them yeah, dude. Sure. Next wait. time, come prepared. I can't Have wait your hammers see, ready to go. I can't wait to see Ryan O'Neill's self defense hammers, dude. <laughs> this is so sick. And then again, we get to see the glorious painting. Of him fighting a goddamn cougar <laughs> with a yeah, knife. That's pretty fucking great. What can somebody repaint that picture with a hammer? Oh shit, he's got hammers. See, I we we use these hammers at work. They're a plastic handled, like almost like a sledge. They're like a one pound sledge. I fucking love those things. All right, so I'm rolling with. I got a hickory handle on this one. Okay, that's just, just your standard. Yeah, yeah. it's a good. No, I like it. It's got. And then this is more – this is for the home defense. See, mm. exact, that's exactly what I was talking – I was just talking about we use those at work all the time. I fucking love those hammers. Yeah. This is – I mean, now you got to watch out. You're going to have to grip it a little high. Yeah. But uh, if I'm going in the street, I want something a little stealthier, something yeah. to move a little quicker. Yes. See, Not- I, would, I would go ahead and spend the extra $20 or so and get you a good East Wing framing hammer. I probably that- should. 
Yeah, I need another yeah, one anyway. The, the handle's longer, and it's actually a metal core hand, handle that comes all the way down, and it's got that rubber grip ah. on it. Oh, it's, the rubber grip. Exactly. Yeah, that's, that's important. This could potentially break, it's I a, guess. It's a little bit heavier, uh, so the, and, and because the handle's a little bit longer, you get more of a uh, you get more of a good swing on it. They're they're good hammers. East Wing is, in my opinion, like the superior frame and hammer. Use okay. promo code Rushmore at eastwing.com. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a big hammer. Yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad it came up. I'm trying, I've, never I got, I've never gotten to talk about hammers. On I don't know shit about hammers, so I've been sitting here trying to think of I'm like just, hammer movie references I'm to fucking tell him. It's not happening. Dude, Dude he's, he's like, a, I love two things. Yeah. Third Reich and hammers. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Put that on my tombstone, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Jack Hammers? Would that be a good street? I don't know anybody named Jack. All right. Uh, Jack Hammer would be a great fucking porn star name. Dude, you know that's been done for sure. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, man. Right, Hammerhead well, Shark. My number one's gun. Uh, if I was going to choose a gun, uh, probably like a Glock yeah, Model you, 23 or whatever. Yeah, maybe like one of those F1, like 225 yeah. horses. All right. Well, that's. Like I'm a good. revolver man. Yeah, you that are. That is, I mean. The I reliability. Mean, I get it. I get, I get it. it. You got half. You got half the shots. But and I got hey, Glock. Glock is a very reliable gun. I mean, they throw them in the fucking sand. The only thing pull them out, and you're good to go. But I, I have, I don't know if you've ever caught your thumb under the hammer of a revolver. No, I did it once. One time, my friend had a antique Colt from the Civil War era. Was, yeah, but that I mean that makes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I was pulling a light bulb out of my oven and playing with this fucking Colt. <laughs> I, I was fucking around with it, and the hammer came down on the hammer, and I ended up like throwing the gun, and I broke it, unfortunately. But I mean, it bit me, so I threw but it. But I don't even understand how you got your thumb stuck in the hammer. I don't remember. I was like thirteen. <laughs> so that so that's ruined you on revolvers because this fucking hundred and seventy year old okay. fucking gun. That, that and one time I shot a Smith and Wesson five hundred, and I thought it was going to break my wrist. Uh, okay okay you know what dude that's a big fucking gun what do you basically the biggest one dude you don't need to fuck with anything over a 357 man yeah what do you what do you think uh the guy that shot at you what do you think he had i don't know i want to say since i didn't there was like if he had like a glock or something i feel like but also i don't know i felt like i didn't see anything bulging yeah in his sweatshirt he has a hand in his pocket so i would probably think it was a 38 that's what I was going to say. Like a snub like nose 38 or something. But I have no – because those are loud. Yeah. They're fucking loud as fuck. And you're going to get a big fucking muzzle flash off of if it. If it was night. a 22, you would probably know. No. Like everybody knows the crack of a 22. Yeah. Yeah, I know it really well. But, I mean, like 38, 9 mil, 45, they all kind of generally yeah. sound the same. And I feel like with the number, if you had – if you had something – if you had a semi-auto, and just you would probably just keep firing more yeah, yeah. That makes your, sense. has anybody ever told you you could pass as like a young dave girl especially with this get up <laughs> no i've never I've never oh, heard that now you've gotten it <laughs> thank you also What's uh 38 38 special steve o'neill sounds like he could be the singer for 38 special if nobody knew it's <laughs> a good point too yeah. i saw i saw 38 special live at a fair in georgia yep steve o'neill was out there and just fucking they were they were actually pretty good now i think about <laughs> Dude, you get some good shitty 90s bands yeah. and 80s bands that come through the county fair. Oh, yeah. You get 38 special opening for fucking Sugar Ray. That's a great show. Yeah, basically. Yeah, the best. <laughs> you I get fucking Marcy Smash Playground. Mouth. And, yeah. Yeah, Marcy Playground and fucking, uh, <laughs> fucking what is it, Dovetail Joint or something. Oh, man. That's pretty yeah. fucking great. Uh, what's your favorite pistol round? Man, when I, my bro when I used to shoot with my brother, because my dad collected a shitload of guns, and I always love a three fifty seven because it feels like a gun is supposed to fucking feel. It looks yeah. like a gun is supposed to look. It's got fucking a kick where you're like, this is a dangerous motherfucker. Yeah, like I like semi autos and all that, but I don't know. I've always I've always had a fascination with a revolver. I love so I'll go with three fifty seven. I like a um. Yeah, three. Th as far as a revolver round, that is probably like the one. Uh, yeah. Oh, have you ever shot? Oh, fuck. Have you ever shot? Uh, I can't remember what it's called right now, but it, Taurus puts it out. It's a revolver with uh, 
removable re- replaceable barrels and cylinders and you can load them with 410 shells you can load them with i think 357 and i think oh so you just oh so you just put you're basically just keeping the fucking grip and the trigger yeah. and you oh, and you no, have a place so but you can you can shoot a goddamn 410 shell out of a fucking pistol dude i have seen those ones it looks like they're shooting fucking shotgun shells out of this shit that's what it is okay yeah then and that's so that's, and and 410 like you, you obviously you 410 your, is a small yes if you want yes, to shoot a fucking squirrel but yes but 410 also makes home defense rounds and they they have home defense rounds uh, and stuff okay. for 410 i have i i have some in my gun right now i have a lever action 410 which is super fun they make slugs for 410s absolutely so it's, it's okay. about it's about the size of like a forty five round, but I have some home defense rounds. They're they're high brass. The brass goes probably about three quarters of an inch up the fucking uh, shell, and then what it is is, uh, it's three copper plates that are about the size of like Smarties, like the Smarties candies. Yeah. And then in front of that, there's like uh, like, sm- not, it's like small buckshot. There's like I think there's Dude, nine of those. What's the fucking spray pattern on that? It's Dude, coming off of a fucking barrel this long. It's pretty goddamn. Well, I've I've never shot it out of a pistol, but out of out of my oh, lever action shit. shotgun, it's pretty fucking tight. Well, it you're gonna hit something for sure. Oh yeah, and what th- those those copper plates they don't break up. They just go straight through. Damn, it's great. Dude. It's, it's pretty great. cool. And that out of a pistol at close range would uh, that's a surgeon's worst nightmare. Dude, if I lived, if I still lived in the Indi- in Indiana, I would be way more into guns. But California, dude, they oh, forget fuck about yeah. it, dude. They <laughs> fuck forget yeah. about it. I don't know anything about guns, but I'm feeling really stupid about my number one <laughs> after listening to y'all go back and forth. Thomas, that what's long. your number one? My man? number one was lightsaber. <laughs> <laughs> all right Ryan. wait like a like a toy one yeah, no. it doesn't work at all <laughs> ryan <laughs> ryan what's what's your number one wait are we making up fake fucking weapons ryan well, welcome, welcome to the retro podcast ryan <laughs> i was going to uh do a, wow. a fictional weapon but then y'all went fucking 10 minutes on gun shells and i don't know anything about it and then i felt really fucking stupid about it yeah, you should because and, I am. and also, by the way, I know this sounds like a bit and a callback, but Return of the Jedi, the third one is my favorite Star Wars for sure. <laughs> it's like, what are you doing, man? You gotta you gotta get out of the the, the number threes. <laughs> well the thing is like it takes me, I guess, like five or six hours to really get into the story. Do you think do you think that they finally hit their stride at movie <laughs> yeah. number three? Yeah, number three. I'm like, man, it really ties it together. One or two are just setups. Finally, you get some fucking TNA. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Leia, yeah, you get Leia in there. You get Luke's see... in that black robe, looking all fucking yeah. slim. Part of her pussy lips are hanging out the side of that thing. Yeah, fucking. <laughs> uh, I, so my number one is a tie between bear mace and a machete. Oh man, Oof. I used to I used to be in a band, and our guitar player used to always carry a backpack whenever we would walk around town on tour. He would always carry in his backpack a machete wrapped up in a t-shirt and he would have the handle just barely sticking out of the backpack. So you couldn't really tell what it was. You'd like, oh, it's like a weird handle. It's like freaky. a fucking anime character. He he pulled it out one time that I know about. And this dude is also, he is a scary looking. He, I don't, he he's, he's, he's almost unassuming. His, his, his father was an Afghani bodybuilder. Hmm. What the fuck? So... <laughs> He's like he's he's shorter than me. I'm five nine, obviously. Sure. He's shorter Six than two me. in California. <laughs> he's shorter than me. And but he's like he's really just wide and like thick. Like you know you know that Iranian yeah, bodybuilder yeah. guy? So yeah. he's like he's like that if he never did steroids. And he's got a giant fucking black beard. Is him a wolfman? Yeah, wolfman. Oh yeah, yeah I've dude. met that guy. Yeah. Because they just they just drink they pound goat milk and just fucking yeah. lift yeah. weights all day. It's a great fucking so guy, too. Now he's like basically blind and he has to wear an eye patch. So now he's yeah. an eye patch. He looks fucking so fucking cool. Bearded. <laughs> yeah, he's the fucking he coolest looks really looking fucking dude cool. ever. And it, he, he's a bi- is an eye patch, bearded Afghani dude that carries around a fucking yeah. machete in his book so, bag. So Pepper's he is what I aspire to be yeah, when I grow up. Pepper's from Columbus, Georgia, and I'm from here, Mississippi. And I went to Columbus with him one weekend 
And I ended up spending like five hours in a bar with this guy. He's talking about Wolfman. He's a great fucking dude. But he yeah. is maybe the coolest looking person I've ever been around. And I've he carries big a fucking, fucking beard. machete. Yes. Also, and a good one, too. Also, to justify my lightsaber pick a little bit, to go back to Star Wars for a second, I don't think our picks are that different. Because lightsaber, Star Wars, yeah. Mace, I mean, Windu. Mine you can buy at Star a Wars. store. And you, yours, they sell at Toys R Us. That was a shitty Mace Windu reference. Samuel Jackson. I guess. No, I, well, no, we rest in it. peace. We just don't respect rest it. Rest in peace. My we get it. We don't respect it. We think it sucks. But for real though, Return of the Jedi is a little bit better okay. than Empire. It's overrated. Anyways. Uh, what? <laughs> How dare you? Empire is the greatest Star Wars really movie good. of all time. It's really Do you like good. the machete with the saw on the back? Are you like the... No, uh, dude. I'm a purist. Just give me blade. Nothing on the back. And also, don't give me that plastic fucking handle bullshit. Yeah. You want a wood That's, handle? Dude, I had one, and I don't. It, I don't even think it was wood. It was like a porcelain handle. Oh, it was. Sure. It was wow. high end, '80s shit. Oh, I wonder if it was like ceramic, because you know ceramic could have been really ceramic. Good for I think it was ceramic. Glass. Then. It's good for breaking glass. Gin Blossoms is another shitty '90s man that would play at a fair. Yeah, yeah. dude. Hey, so, jealousy. I said shitty. I meant forgotten shit. They're not. They were shit. It's a great song. <laughs> so any machete. <laughs> I thought you were going to go for 10 minutes on machete brands and I couldn't add we, anything. We so I was thinking about 90s bands. Dude, I thought you were going to talk about Machete 3 with Danny Trejo. <laughs> oh, no, fuck. Fucking idiot. The, yeah, the, the Slaughterhouse series. Is that what it's called? Slaughterhouse? What was it called? Um, I think it's just called the Machete series. Oh, fuck. Robert Rodriguez. Yeah, yeah. Rest in peace. <laughs> Is he okay? I think he's still alive. <laughs> oh, great. Good for him. That's great. What about Spy Kids 3? He did that. No, uh, I was out. And it's actually. Uh, Spike is 3D, show a little goddamn respect. Oh, but <laughs> no, I was out. I was out. I apologize. I didn't want to fucking degrade the brand. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we get that on the record. Uh, That's right? the hill you die on. That's well, I mean, the hill you die fuck. on. Oh, fuck. You almost killed me, dude. I really, yeah. I wish I would have tied the Mace Windu thing in better. No, that was retarded. <laughs> Feel bad about you it. Never should have said it. Yeah, that's kind of what I mean. All right. <laughs> dude, but I think the Bear Mace is probably going to be your most powerful weapon. It is the best one. I agree. So Bear Mace, that actually open. it has a chemical in it that opens up the pores and add, like lets that capsaicin go into the pores so it actually like burns the fuck out of your face and it doesn't just get into your eyes that's the advantage to bear mace versus just regular fucking rape race rape rape race rape, rape, race? rape mace. who's winning rape mace. oh race rape yeah, yeah 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 race rape so that's like when you're at a nascar event and you get too drunk you pass out in a trailer and then some yeah, it's, a, it's a good old-fashioned <laughs> race rape yeah, yeah. <laughs> he uh, went NASCAR in my head I was thinking Usain Bolt and trying to think of a fucking joke dude I think you were trying to tie it into fucking Star Wars <laughs> yeah. I think you're trying to tie it into Cars 3 <laughs> oh shit that's a no. that was actually probably the I, best I movie in the series yeah I didn't watch that one That that's the only one where I fucking stand by your fucking dumb fucking uh, the third movie is the best thing Toy, Toy Story 3 you know, that's the only one I didn't watch. That's the sad one. Though. Yeah, that's a sad one. That's yeah. where they all like die or whatever. The kids Cars get three is actually thrown into a wood chipper. You ever watch Planes, Ryan O'Neill? I have. With uh, Dan Cook? And, uh, but doesn't it have, uh, what's his, Larry the Cable guy? Well, that's Cars. That's Cars. Oh, that's Cars. So I yeah. thought he also did Planes. No. <laughs> but I guess I'm not. I think Planes is a Dan Cook vehicle. Get what? it? Vehicle? Fucking move on. Yeah, no, I get it. So you're, it, it tied you it back did, to Mace Wind. Dude, your yeah. wordplay. You did, I could tell you did not train wordplay. No, I wasn't all. on today. Come on, dude. We had we got right. fucking Ryan O'Neal on the fucking episode. You didn't even fucking prepare. Yeah, I, I conceded before we started. How many improv classes did, did you take before? Yes, and? Before I came on the show. When no, but. Oh, no, no, but. No, but. <laughs> yeah, it's no but. Yes, and's right. over, dude. Fuck. That's 90s. Come on, dude. <laughs> Hashtag yes, and. Fuck. Me too. You could have been the next Shane Gillis. Get, get SNL, and then they I find the can't. podcast, and he gets immediately fired <laughs> yeah. because he they find out that he does a podcast with a yeah he's best friends with a guy that won't stop talking about fucking Nazi Germany. I'm just saying it's interesting. I'm not saying that I agree with anything. I'm just saying that it it might be the most interesting country in time in history. Listen, we have roughly and they invented the highway. We have system. roughly a hundred. They invented the highway system. We have roughly a hundred. Yes. We have roughly one hundred thirty-two hours on your feelings about Nazi Germany. 
Dude, they made innovations that were taken to uh, – they were taken and spread across the world. Now, yes. I'm not saying they were – I'm just saying – No. Killing that, Jews was bad. Bad. Yes. A hundred, yeah, no, yes, they were clearly. a horrific yes. fucking thing. But also bad. innovations that they made. I mean, fucking jets. Thank they you. Did, I mean, the scientists – got us to the moon. And the scientists that they fucking brought over built the bomb. Yes. They got us to uh, the Yeah, moon. I mean, they were horrific fucking – you know they were the most horrific werner, werner von braun was not a not a not a chill dude sounds like a, a good a cologne not a good but, guy. i mean you could say and this is i have said this I on mean, the podcast volkswagen porsche and mercedes po- po- porsche in particular i have a Bu- i have a buick um i've said this on the podcast and this is probably what gets me in trouble but i will say hitler is fun I can not. Uh, nope. I can't <laughs> agree. Yeah. With you. Like he, he did. He did interesting things because he he would just he would he would. Now be, this is taking a weird shift. See, right. that's yeah, the thing. Yeah. Is I was now I was with you. Hold on. I was right. waiting on God it to damn. come around for you because I've I've done 130 plus episodes. With so I knew it was eventually going to make it to this point. I was just sitting back. I was just waiting. With the caveat of like killing Jews. That was the worst idea. He never should have done that. But, but like, what you're going to say is he, oh, but he had some good ideas too. He had, yes, that's exactly that's what he was going to say. He this is getting crazy. No, no, because he wrecked Germany's economy. He didn't have great ideas. But we he brought he Germany's had, economy back first. Yeah, yeah we're great. That's why everyone didn't he say had anything. had fun ideas. But not, Killing Jews was not one of them. But he had, he had fun ideas. So he, he, had, he had ideas like, um, <laughs> this, is where I we, want you, this is where we both distance yeah. ourselves. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I'll, 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 uh, I'll, I'll stand out of frame and, and explain all this. So he had ideas like, um, I want you to build me <laughs> the biggest tank ever made. And his scientist guys were like, uh, I mean, we don't think that's the greatest idea. He's like, fucking do it. So they did it. And then they did. And then, that tank yeah. ended up to be like 110 tons. And the, you know where that tank is right now? In a ditch. It's where it got stuck. Because turns out if you run a 110-ton tank in the spring when so, all the snow melts and everything's muddy, it's going to get stuck. And guess what? You don't have anything big enough to pull that out. Yeah. So it's right there. So it sounds like a shitty idea. It's to right there. It's a it. shitty idea, but it's a fun idea. Okay. This is, why Gilbert, this is why Gilbert Godfrey won't do the show. I will say this. I went to – I was in Berlin last summer, and I went to one of these fucking uh, – the bunkers that they built yes. to shoot down planes to protect Berlin. And they built this whole fucking place in like a year and or maybe less. And it was uh, impressive. I mean, the guns that they fucking built, and they used it. Otherwise, Berlin would be all rubble, but these guns protected – a whole fucking section of land. Or, yeah. It was unbelievable. I mean, yes, as far as, but Germans have always been great engineers. Oh, the, like some of the best. And so now you have this uh, insane lunatic coming up with wacky ideas. Yeah. Pepper Goins. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> you, like, your he, fun ideas. Yeah. According to Pepper. Fun ideas. Yeah. I so call every, them, everybody's in agreement. Insane. I, I'm, I'm glad that we finally got to this point where everybody agrees that Hitler had fun ideas. He was a cool dude. Have you ever, <laughs> dude? Check check out the. Uh, These are not the thoughts and views of me, dude. I can't Blugner wait. Fremen I talk. can't wait to plug to uh, cut that part out. It was like Ryan O'Neill says Hitler was a fun dude. <laughs> <You> <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> but you should see like the aircraft that 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 they created in uh, Nazi Germany. It's it's just wild shit. That it's it's like it's like a cokehead at fucking three o'clock in the morning. Yeah, it's like Howard Hughes if yeah. he like when he built the Spruce Goose. Oh, have you seen the Spruce Goose? Howard the Duck. I, yeah. Shut up, dude. I've seen the Spruce Goose. It's in You mean in they, real life? Yeah, no, yeah. Where is it? it? Uh Pensacola Naval uh Naval Museum. And and now all the black colleges aren't still haven't their <laughs> See? spring break there. That's what I'm saying. They have Roy Jones <laughs> Jr. and going, the Spruce Goose. Pensacola yeah. might be the greatest city in the fucking country. <laughs> Oh man, rest in peace, Bernard. Hopkins. It's a retarded plane, dude. Don't like, don't fly, don't fly in one for sure. Right, Bruce Goose. It flew once, yeah. like twelve feet off yeah. the ground. Yeah, it's terrible. They locked it up. No, don't do that. You Is have that, any? You have any closing arguments for Ryan O'Neill? I mean, thank you so much for doing it. This has been incredible. 
Um, well, thank you guys. Um, I hope I'm not one of the guests that phoned it in. No, oh, you're no. fucking fantastic. Yeah, you're also, fine. I apologize for that name I said earlier. I'm going to cut that part out. He's fucking great, and we're big fans. Oh. See, <laughs> you, guys, you guys have uh, you've been great, and thanks for having me on. And uh, listen to the Dana Schno O'Neill Show. Check out Beach Cops. Dude, if you don't subscribe to Beach Cops right fucking now, yeah. we will find you. We know who listens to this podcast. Yeah, We're not fucking stupid. We can, we can trace your fucking uh, internet feed. IP address. We know who the fuck you are. Well, I'm it's, rolling off a of VPN, so... Uh, fuck. Yeah, that's why it, <laughs> that's how you it watch, says you're in Sweden right now. Yeah, that's how you watch like cool shit on Netflix you can't yeah. get in America. But so, you know what you can get in America? Dirty Dancing documentary on you Netflix. You can also get Roman, uh, Men's Health, something, 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 and get it and use Ro- Rush Roll Pro. De- Jesus de- 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 right. Right. <laughs> da- da- da. Get yeah. Roman. Get, get Roman.com slash Rushmore. Hey, add money well spent by Roman. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ. Hey, um, are you sad? Yes. Do you, do you need mental help? Uh, you know what? I don't because I already went to BetterHelp.com slash Rushmore podcast. We got hey, what off. promo code did you guys use? Well, oh, well, we use the promo code Rushmore for PureSpectrumCBD.com. Use, use code, <laughs> promo code DO101. Yeah, and if you go to... No, no. It's it's like D and O one zero one like zero one zero one. It was some crazy. Yeah, use that one. I don't know what what's it an, was. What's another, AudibleTrial.com slash Rushmore podcast. Do you guys have an Audible... <laughs> now i'm trying to uh we're not getting paid for better help uh, until next month dude, if we get, if, so, so don't do it until then ladies and gentlemen if anybody if anybody oh you guys get paid for oh yeah for, for better help no yeah we weren't just uh convicted of comedy. A dui and doing like a because we get we get like service yeah. we get like the promo code thing nobody signed up we love you <laughs> no i love, love you. you guys love you bye-bye love you you're the best Love you. Love you.